<laughs> All right, so for the benefit of yourself, who's relatively new to the environment. So um, we start our adventure tonight in Mist Hats, a colony city built upon the southern tip of this continent. The continent remained mostly unexplored by civilized land until very recently, when the elves, led by their king, Th uh, King Mylock Finneris Epicamis, decided to settle the place. He uh, set up his settlement on the ruins of a, what was a, a city uh, in this location, and um, the elves had their way at uh, setting up for a short while until the rest of the races, notably the humans, found out the elves were in on this, and. Uh, they sent an expedition party to negotiate their share of the land. There was an argument and reluctantly King Mark agreed that he would split the town in two with the elves residing in their section, carrying on their own independent exploration of the continent while the other races would be allowed to do their own business. King Mylock of the elves is a particularly xenophobic elven king. He is not keen on I wouldn't say not keen. He just considers the other races to be less than. Dirtier, in his own words. That's well, a bit of cheeky racism, I see. Yes. So this new land sets up as a um, an escape for many people. The Their homelands being wrapped with war, legal issues, overtaxing, overpopulation. And there's this new place you can go and settle in. So Mist Hass rapidly fills up with explorers, settlers and refugees from these other countries, creating a town with a myriad of races and ethnic backgrounds, different world outlooks, people looking to carve out a part of this world as their own. Cheap, expansive land. At least that's how it continued for a while until we found out how much of this land was filled with horrible, horrible stuff. There have been fights to take control of the town by other uh, entity, well, other parties. Varkatark was one of the first triers before he was expelled from the town. Um, adventurers set up and started clearing this southern part of the peninsula, making it safe. There's farmland to the north, and uh, that's hoped to be spread further to the mountains where a garrison will be built there. Unfortunately, a power in the north, a man named Morthel, who viewed himself as a son of one of the gods and the rightful owner and custodian of all power, magic and divine, decided that no one else should have any of it. And that the other gods were erroneous in their opinion that they should be gods. They should be brought down. So, taking <coughs> legal advice from his two, um, his religious and arcane advisors, the deacon and Ravaran, and they concocted a plan to capture any magic users, either divine or arcane, remove their hands and tongues and harvest all of their spellcasting ability to make himself and his, and his followers more powerful still. He then took control of Miss Tass with a uh, attack by numerous um, forces of his own, including an ancient red dragon, which descended on the town, burning many of it, taking away most of the military force that guarded the town. The survivors, for the most part, fled the city, taking refuge in the Tower of Darius to the north, while the rest that were stuck in the town <coughs> did their best to survive under Morfell's rule, while his troops went house to house, getting every spellcaster they could find and harvesting their magical ability. After a couple of months, our heroes decided to retake the town with a multi-pronged attack and succeeded in a fight against Morthel, leaving us where we are now. A town that is being rebuilt after a severe occupation and dragon attack. Populous uncertain about what their future is. Uh, a new council in place. The town is again bustling as businesses quickly sweep in trying to take the place of old businesses or people who desperately want to make a living. But things aren't as they were, and that is the town that you find yourself in today. All right. So, we begin tonight's adventure with an intent to visit the arena. The arena was, um, an old, again, an old structure that was rebuilt by the Helvetians, a Roman-style race back from the homelands. 
they um, once they sent their forces in, they built this arena up, and it was used as a storage place during the occupation. But now the town is back under control of the common man. Parties are taking control of the arena and intend to reopen it it's for the entertainment of everybody, a distraction from the problems of the day. Posters have been appearing recently, advertising the day's um, order of events, how there will be fights against wild, wild animals, spell casting jewels, something not seen before in the arena, the children's event. <coughs> <laughs> and that's all it says on the it's side. The children's dance. event. <laughs> and then the full bloody combats in the evening with the to the death match after nightfall. Signs have been appearing everywhere and promoters have been moving through the streets trying to drum up interest for it. You will have all heard of this. But the town has many interesting attractions. And we'll pick up this morning in the central marketplace, the centre of Mist House. And it's in a square, lots of market stalls selling all kinds of wares with more serious businesses in buildings up around the perimeter. It's a huge white building at the northern end, the administrative centre of the halls. Jostling sounds of people. What do you guys want to do this morning? I couldn't figure out to give myself gold, so nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Some new starting equipment. No, I've got a bed roll and some rope, but I couldn't figure out the gold, so what class? You've got other equipment? Uh, I have, I've got a bow and a small dagger. You load yourself up. That's, that's all I can figure you out. You usually start with about 10 gold as uh, a general character. Yeah. Unless you start on an island, oh. Jamie just goes delete all your equipment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming in with a rag, a longbow, which I have no clue how to use in <laughs> a couple of hours. I want a sack. Sucks to be <clears throat> I will be going round, and I've actually I've got that large bolt <coughs> of green cloth with the floral trim on. Yes. And I'll be seeing if I can sell it to. Is there any other like vendors that look like might use it? And um, there are there are certainly some vendors with bales of cloth on their stalls. Um, there is also, more formally, there are, there are a couple of actual clothing stores, like um, tailors. Any that, uh, any that do sort of uh, leather armour that might have some of the cloth in the window as well, or are they separate stores? So, as far as leather armour goes, uh, let's bring up the actual town on that, that's going to be helpful. I'm currently clothed by an over large poncho. <laughs> it's more than that Naz is wearing. <laughs> no, Naz is just wearing a cloak of guilt. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Alright, just to give you an overview then. This is the southern docks where most people come in, western docks in this area, central marketplace and arena. Um, this is the elven quarter over this side. Now, this bit up here behind these houses, this is an extra area of the city that was built um, after the initial occupation. Um, most of it has been destroyed now in the dragon attack. Uh, it was burnt down completely. Uh, this used to be a large temple, destroyed, Helvetian garrison destroyed, all these buildings were destroyed as well. And this was a, a new outer wall, that's still intact. So when leaving the city, you go between this gate out into the main part of the wilds. Um, I actually have the marketplace as well here, so I'll bring that up. When those two people that we rescued sailed us in, did we come in at the southern docks or the... Southern. What's that? Southern. Now rich. 
Beyond belief. Gold, ten gold is actually, for the average person, is a reasonably good amount of money. So the average salary is it like one gold a month. For, or is that a lot? I don't that, know. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A couple of silver a month then, at best. You'll be lucky if you make uh, about five gold a year. Oh, okay. Bill Gaver. Jesus Christ, Crassus has given him a hell of a lot. No wonder he's got all the yeah. crew jumping at him. Bill was very flashy. Gave a gave a boxer <coughs> thirty golds to walk us fifteen minutes. <laughs> Not anymore now. <laughs> Bill had a good payday of a gold for a mission organization. <laughs> okay. <laughs> More than the militia pays him. The voluntary militia. This is full time job. Oh, okay. Better not be voluntary. <laughs> <laughs> Especially now we owe somebody two graveyard shifts. Oh, you forgot about that. I hadn't. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Because going to be knackered on his next adventure. Yeah, no <laughs> longer for you. Three levels of exhaustion. Maybe one of them could be the brothel shift. Do you still quite have exhaustion? Well, that'd be a good way of getting out, I suppose. No, you're, you're not allowed in, you're guarding. I, I don't actually know what the brothel shift is. But yes, it's, it's, so it's a square and there are a number of businesses around the outside. Um, you were asking after a place that has leather and cloth. Yeah, or if they're two separate shops. I'll see if I can... So, I mean, from leather, there. you um, will... There's a shop called Offensive Defence, which has um, leather and uh, metal armours in the window, and you can see a weapons rack inside, which is half full at the moment. Um, they're one of the market stores you walk around has a single suit of studded leather on there and some um, just some raw leather hides and some bales of cloth. Um, so there is a was uh, there a price tag on the uh, studded leather as we went as I went around past it? <laughs> no, no, price just, tag. no price tag. No, no price tag. No. Can I go up and inquire how much that st studded leather armor is? Oh, the studded leather armor is perfect for someone like you. I see. Um, what size are you? The size you see here. <laughs> it's very difficult to say. Um, what are you wearing at the moment? Uh, a, a dirty poncho. Because we were in the sleeping thing, weren't right. we? So it's literally just dirty, very large poncho to cover all the necessity bits. Well, perhaps we, before even thinking <coughs> about the cost of it, we should try it on you. Well, why don't you tell me the cost first? Very well then. It's 15 gold. 15. Do you think you can afford it? I mean, you've certainly not been splashing out on trousers. I <laughs> I have five, but I do also have this lovely bolt of green cloth, which is uh, is worth a, a bit, I know. Let me have a look at it then. Pop, you, pop your bolt on the uh, table. And... It is olive green bolt of cloth with floral trim. <laughs> it unrolls it a bit and pulls it out and holds <coughs> it to the light, seeing how much light per permeates the fabric. I could have gold off the cost for that, but you're still going to need to come up with the rest of the money. I'm heading over to the arena. Later. Sounds like you definitely need it. Yes, but I have no extra money and no extra things that I can give you. Oh. So. So sorry that you find yourself in such a hard situation. And I myself find myself with uh, a business to run and uh, the purpose you, of putting items on sale for money. Would you give uh, me no. a gold for the cloth, then? <laughs> I'll give you a gold for the cloth, yes. I'll take... Uh, can I try inside to see, to see how sort of like excited they are, to see if they're getting a good deal or if they're getting... Yeah. Sorry. If I'm getting scammed. Oh, that's nice. I don't believe the audacity of saying I've got five gold for a 15 gold <laughs> suit of armor and then, then turn to me and say, I might be getting scammed. 
got five gold. <laughs> that's all I got. Because we got nothing on the island. That's all we found. Um, so, uh, 23. 23. Um, I mean, common sense says this, this is a business owner. They're not going to buy this from you and resell it for a gold. They're going to make a profit on it. Um, they seem quite pleased to be taking it off your hands, except for the dirt that's uh, on the area where you've been carrying it under your arm. I'll take the gold for yeah. it. I don't okay. think I've got much. I need to start building some wealth. Well, if you get some more money, and, uh, and I still have this armour, it'd be uh, nice to see you in something. It would be. Thank you for your time. Mm. So Sally Puncture as well. <laughs> <laughs> It's coming kind of close to winter, it's probably quite <laughs> cold out. Tell you, Jack, you'll be fine. Um, will you be interested in. Uh, a poncho? No. <laughs> just. <laughs> I've got. The, I, really, I mean, you've got to understand how it works. I've if got I buy something off you, it's with the intent to resell it, not because I want it. I, not you're, the you're the shopper, and I'm the. I understand that. I just have and, a longbow and some arrows that are no use to me, or a shield. You, you thought that uh, a, a cloth merchant would be the person who needs a bow and arrow. I thought somebody that sells leather armour might... Might what? Be hunting down also, the leather? Also sell, uh, also sell other goods that might accommodate or go alongside. Oh, I see. You're thinking that I might be the sort of person who'd sell a quiver and I might need some arrows to put inside it to make it display worthy. Exactly. Mm. No. Well, <laughs> you've been... L less than helpful. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been less than wealthy. <laughs> but if you do come back with some wealth, I'd be happy to treat you in a more cordial manner. At the moment, I feel like you're just wasting my time. Nothing said, I'll just turn around <laughs> and walk off. Okay. Alright. Anybody else want to do any shopping? Um, wanted to go into more than the. Yeah, I'll start heading towards. After seeing these flyers. Arena's a great way to earn some money. I'll okay. head towards the arena. Straight to the arena, okay. Uh, is there anyone that sells like potions? Like health potions? <laughs> so, you're looking around the marketplace. Uh, looking at the signs, there's a, there's a couple of places. There's um, Upper Cuts, which seems to be a clothing place. A place called Jaded Carpet. Um, there's a, what looks to be a, an eatery drinking establishment called Warm Comfort. But next to that, you see there's a place called Tinctures and Tonics, which uh, you head over Tinctures and Tonics and open the door and go inside. It's quite bright in here. It's been painted um, in a very bright white colour, uh, adding to the light that comes in through the window to the front. Full, full nice, clear glass, which is uh, a luxury. Um, there's a couple of benches by the window, um, but most of the room is taken up by a large counter which occupies the center. And then beyond that, there are some shelves which contain a number of small pots um, and then bottles. And uh, as you come in and the door shuts behind you, a man comes through. This is, he's, he's short. Um, you would think he's a dwarf for a minute, but then he's not bearded, so and all dwarves have beards, surely. You pause, or is that racist? No, probably not. Anyway, this man is short and wide set. He ambles over the counter and puts one arm up, up, arm up on it. Hello there. Hello. What is it I can do for you? Um, I am in the market for potions of health. <laughs> You are very fortunate, sir. There used to be a potion seller in the shop, but he had massive manufacturing issues. Well, the weight my establishment got, healing potions are plentiful, always available, never a shortage. Uh, how much are your health? A hundred gold. <laughs> well, oh. <laughs> uh, can I just look at one, please? Could you just look at one? <laughs> can I just like, hold it for a second? Could you hold it for yeah, a second? Just, yeah. You want to hold it? Mm -hmm. Just make sure it's you know the right weight and stuff like that. Oh, certainly. It was one moment. <laughs> right. Um, and he turns over the part of the counter and he walks through to the front, goes over the door and locks it. 
Come on. There goes your plan. <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> goes up like a counter and then gets a stall out, gets one of the stall and reaches up onto a high shelf where there's a section of bottles and he pulls one out of a rattle of glass. And there you go. And it's it's a, quite a it's not a terribly large bottle, relatively round with a high neck on it. Um, it's you can see there's some liquid in there, but it's quite opaque, difficult to see the liquid itself. Uh, wax sealed and there's a label on. It's boarded down, isn't it? <laughs> Is there any, uh, if I look around... I just don't you want to touch it, I've got it down for you now. If, uh, is, there, is there any windows in the building? Back? There's two large windows, either side of the main door. Are they quite high? Uh, no, no, they, they, they go from about two feet above the floor mm-hmm. up into the ceiling. How big's a half length? Uh, about two and a half foot, three foot tall. <laughs> We need a springboard. Are either of the windows open? No, no, they're, 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 they're not open the windows, they're just big. So it's lots of panes of glass. Oh, okay. You know. I'm, uh, I'm okay for now, thank you. Uh, I'll leave. Uh, uh, one moment. So the store you put it up Opens the counter, comes round to the front, and unlocks the door for you. <laughs> <laughs> You were going to leg it, uh, weren't you? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> that was not my first thing. If, um, <laughs> they're always available if you change your mind. Thank you. Uh, <coughs> my name is Heptin, by the way. What's your name? Uh, rabbit. Rabbit. Like, like, like the... Like, like the animal. Like, like the animal. Yes. Oh. Well, Rabbit, pleasure to meet you. Uh, you too. And uh, I'll remember your name and face. <laughs> I'll just head to the arena as well, I think. You're going to head off to the arena? Yes. Okay. Bear, is there anything you'd like to do this morning? Bear's actually at the arena already. Going to the arena already? He's actually at the arena. He's going to be at the front of the arena trying to tell the fight, you don't have to go. You don't have to fight. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to protest. <laughs> All right, we'll leave you there for the minute then. Have you decided yet, Archie? Do you want me to come back to you? Yeah, please. I would have spent some time drinking at whichever bar I found. Yep. Um, and then after seeing the post and get someone to read it to me, because uh, I can't read. I speak alright, but I can't read. Um, would have asked for directions to the arena. <coughs> okay. Alright. Yeah. So you get the address to head straight over there then? Yeah, essentially. Yeah. That's fine. There's your decision made, is it? <laughs> okay. How about yourself? Anything you want to do? I'm walking back from the Temple of Sardonyx and I'm putting the feeders out by some in the market for a, a pearl. Just in case any pearl okay. salespeople, you know, okay. Steve or Colin. <laughs> um, you so ask at a, co- a couple of places. You find find out there's a store called Perfect Glass in a back alley, um, and they have jewels and so, so on. So it might be worth a try. But I'm also in the market for ten gold pieces worth of charcoal, incense, and herbs. Uh, which I'm not sure is that ten gold pieces of charcoal, ten gold pieces of incense, and ten gold pieces of herbs. Ross is, uh, he's that's, in, a, he's that's a now. lot of items. <laughs> that's a lot of coal. What's it, what's it for? <laughs> to cast a spell to get myself a little buddy. Oh, I think it, yeah, it's it, all mixed. It's ten mixed. gold accumulated yeah, so of all of it's them. Essentially, the, the gold is actually in the incense. It's the incense pot which is worth the ten gold. The herbs and the charcoal are just kind of just chucked in for flavour. That's the way I always read that. All right, so. Um, you, you get to the marketplace and you ask a couple of people. You get your like that perfect glass, <coughs> and then you ask them about the components. What you needed uh, was Zedivores. You used to have a uh, component shop there called Caster's Pouch. And then Caster's Pouch had all kinds of stuff in there, and it also served this quite compulsive hot drink, which I had a couple of times, but <coughs> I felt uh, quite uneasy when it was in there. The man was full of himself. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, when the town was occupied, Zedabor himself, well, I think he was captured and uh, place ransacked. 
It's been taken over now by. Uh, he points over this building. Um, <laughs> it's got a sign hanging. <laughs> Roughly, like one side of the sign has dropped down. The doors are all shut up at the moment. Well, mm. these other chaps came in there and um, haven't seen them in a couple of days. Press F. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Zedivor was the one who sold components. Otherwise, you'd be best just to try and gather what you can or ask anyone that might have those sort of things rather than a central component place. What components is it you're after? Incense, charcoal and herbs. Well, charcoal shouldn't be so bad. When you say herbs, we're talking about like cooking herbs. We'll see. We'll try it. Yeah, just, yeah. See, just anything really. Yeah, yeah try just, it. Try it with a bit of moss or something. It's grass yeah. a herb, yeah. I guess it can be. It can be. Like, like herbs, something you cook with, isn't it? That's what I've seen. Mm. Charcoal shouldn't be a problem. Well, mind it's, you, it's not just embers from fire, is it charcoal? It's got to have been burned the right way. Maybe it's not that easy. It's easy. So oh, these, oh. these people which took over Zedaphor's. Yeah. I've spoken to Zedaphor. I'd like to cut up his gym. Obviously before the town you spoke to Zedaphor, yeah? Yeah, why, why not? No, we was just good. Well, he was taken away by more fells lot, so he's likely to be hand, minus hands and tongue. So cut of the gym is probably a poor <laughs> phrase. <laughs> In a dungeon somewhere, or dead. It seemed okay to me. When did you see him? I'm asking my questions here. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm asking a question. No, I, I'm asking questions. Yeah, I know, but also I'm asking a question. Yes. <laughs> I forgot what I've asked now. <laughs> so these people which took over his shop. Wait a minute. Did they have incense in there? I'm not sure I want to help you anymore. I'm Happy to help you when, <laughs> but now you come over this. I'm asking the questions, nonsense. I feel a little bit threatened. I'm gonna snort and try to intimidate. I'm you. definitely feeling in threatened now. <laughs> Intimidation check. <laughs> Natural one, but a six. Yeah. <laughs> he backs off from you as a, this icy blast comes from your nostrils. Uh, all right, you back off a minute, back off. Uh, militia! Militia! <laughs> mm. Stamping of feet. Three militia guards come running over. What's going on here then? I sneezed. And this, you know, is just, I'm a dragonborn. This is what we do. We sneeze and things happen. He was getting all upset because I asked him a question. He's blasting out his nose at me. I thought I was going to die. I'm just going to wipe, wipe my nose and just leave a massive tread of icicles and cack on my, on my arms. Now, I haven't always been in militia, but uh, I know there have been Dragon Ball in town before. Who've hurt people seriously with that sort of nonsense. So, uh, stop it. <laughs> I'll, I'll pack it in. <laughs> no more snotting on people. Doesn't matter if you're a dragonborn. It's not all right. <clears throat> Can we have some ground rules? Yeah, because I just told you what yeah, they are. But what happens if he comes to me a fed and starts tickling my nose? Am I in the wrong if I sneeze on him? Look, just, just don't just, do it. Right, I'm, I'm not going to get. If you want to go to court, go to the council and get an injunction that says you're allowed to breathe fire or acid or whatever it is you do on someone who tries to tickle your nose with a feather, that's fine. I think it's a fucking waste of council time. But me, right now, right, Howard, Howard. militia guard, is telling you, don't go hurting people with whatever it is that comes out of your nose. Okay, and how are you spelling Howard? Howard. Hey, how everybody spells Howard. H A E W E R D. That's a little, a little book. What's that? It's a notebook. And I hand it to him, and inside you see Howard Mongo Santa Maria. <laughs> Wizzy, <laughs> Tarragon, 
and Mariot, which is spelt wrong. Yeah, all right, well, it's a list of, I, this is not some sort of death list, is it? No. <laughs> not a list of people you're planning to kill or and or breathe on. No. <laughs> Stares at you for a long time. <laughs> You see uh, another armoured figure who's taking the interest who's walking over to the situation. Look, this has got part of couple. Oh, I haven't got time for this. All right, there's people trying to commit crimes everywhere, and I've got to tell them not to do it. I'm telling you not to do this. No more breathing on people. Okay. What's going on here? The armoured figure comes up. This man, dragonborn lizard thing, tried to breathe on this man. He threatened me. He threatened me, he did he? He was. Uh, Right nasty. And uh, I, uh, he asked me a bunch of questions. When I asked the question, he, he got all he got all breathy on me. I thought he was going to breathe fire and everything. See, breathe fire. And everything. Was... All right, Howard. Um, you're going to need to calm down now. I'm just a simple man. I sneezed. I'm doing my best to deceive. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Thirty. Look, I don't think I've seen you around town before, but uh, it's my fallen, my duty, against my better judgment, <coughs> to see <coughs> that this town is well positioned to have order. And I would like <coughs> you to thor thoroughly enjoy everything that Mist has, has to offer, <coughs> even though it's in a dilapidated state at the moment, it'll soon be a fine establishment. There is plenty of shops around, places to drink and stay, and always ample work to be found. If you have any questions, there's a hall, and right next to the hall is another building where I've got lots of cells. <coughs> now, um, it's part of my job, I'm going around and enforcing the law. Sometimes I have to deal with some people who try and attack me, or other innocent people, and I, I don't appreciate that. I have two choices when that happens. The first one I'm, I see as a shameful thing if I have to kill somebody to get them to stop. The other option is I put them in the cell for a considerable amount of time while they think about what they've done. You're not the first of your kind I've met. And you're not the first who's tried to get his way by breathing on people. None of this sneeze is an excuse. If I catch you trying to intimidate people in the marketplace again, you're going in the cells. If you wish to complain about what I've said, you're welcome to do so. My name is Geoffrey Howell. Take it to the council, which I'm on. Now I'll just spell Geoffrey. <laughs> J-E-F-F-R-E-Y. And then Howell is H-O-W-E-L. <clears throat> What's the book? The book of people I meet. It's right. Well, it's good you wrote my name down. Okay. Now, as long as you continue to behave yourself from this point forward, we won't have any further problems, and I sincerely hope you enjoy your time in this house and find yourself gainful employment and uh, credit yourself as a useful member of society. If you can't do that, well, I suggest you go through the North Gate. There's plenty of wild places for those who can't obey rules. What's your name? Kishan. Kishan? I'm so sorry to have to have spoken to you so abruptly. It happens, Geoffrey. Now, get on your business and leave this poor man alone. I don't suppose you know where I can procure ten gold pieces worth of charcoal, incense and herbs? What kind of herbs? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was just anything her herbaceous, I guess. Okay. Just a herby thing. <clears throat> just a herby thing. So like some mint or something? Or? Mint. Tarragon. Not the person. There's a person called Tarragon. Not met him. Um, I don't know, I'm afraid. You're probably better to speak to people who are more in the learned arts. My, my purview is law and order and combat with some dedication to the gods of course 
speak to someone who is more versed in the arcane. They may be able to guide you in a better way than I. But please, don't go harassing any more of the town folk. They may find you scary because of the way you are. And I don't mean that as an insult. You are a large lizard to a lot of these people. That, that is what I am. Right. Now, I'm going to take Howard here and get him back on patrol. Let's have no more nonsense. Bye, Jeffrey. Bye, Howard. Okay. Look at the man whose name I didn't take. No. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any more questions for me? Is, <laughs> is Zed Force around here? Or the, the shop formerly known as Zed Force? Uh, yes, it is. Did he point it out? He pointed it out where it was, can just I, with the dilapidated sign. Can I, can I walk up to it and, and see what's going on there? Alright. Well, it looks like it's uh, recently been cleaned. Uh, Suffered some damage during the occupation, but uh, there's a sign on there which says. Stone walls! <laughs> <laughs> So it says stone walls, but the sign has not been put up very professionally, hung up by two ropes, one of which has not been tied as well as the other, hence the angle, which partly obstructs entry through the door. <coughs> Still um, hurts. I ram the door closed with a dead squirrel because I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> there is a dead squirrel in the doorway. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try, try the handle and then walk in. Okay. <laughs> Just give me, a, give me an athletics check, will you? Six. Okay. I'm going to switch to dice because D&D Beyond's not my friends <laughs> today. <laughs> Real dice are superior than D&D Beyond anyway. Mm -hmm. um, you grab the handle and the door seems to be stuck. You push it, it doesn't move. Pull it, push it, pull it. One half of the squirrel drops off. Lands <laughs> on the floor. And you see through the glass there, the other half of the squirrel drop off on the other side. That's a good security measure. <laughs> the door seems to be uh, jammed. All you've done it successfully is bifurcated the squirrel that was jammed in the door. <laughs> I'm going to use my extra long lizard tongue to <laughs> scoop up the squirrel. <laughs> you turn waste down not the half waste not, squirrel. Waste not one. How long's that squirrel been there? Well, I, got it off, I got it off Gump, which was. Uh, <laughs> And it's questionable <laughs> even then. Yeah, and then it's been in there for a couple of days at least. Mm. All right, so you pick up the furry um, half animal on your tongue. It's, I'm going to guess it smells kind of funky. Smell. It doesn't smell great, it doesn't <laughs> taste great. I'm going to press the digitation it to make it taste better. <laughs> okay, so focus on it. I mean, this is like putting a lot of spice on some off meat, though, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to warm it up as well while I'm... <laughs> warm it up! You just stood in the doorway with this squirrel that you've licked up. I have to try on the door and you go straight on it. The half, back half of this squirrel sort of <laughs> pops as it reinflates where it's been squashed completely. You hear a voice. What are you doing? <laughs> Hello. Um, all right, uh, now, you've been stood in this doorway for some time now, staring at this squirrel. But also, I saw you trying the door. Now, I've got some doubts about the ownership of this place. It's a contested oh. question the council at the moment. Is, is this Jeffrey? This is Jeffrey, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I really think you should move along. If you're, uh, what, are you, uh, what are you doing? Are you cooking that? <laughs> Don't do it in a. Are you a, are you homeless or something? <laughs> I'm also just pressing the station to really clean it up so it looks <laughs> it looks really presentable. I'm gonna just walk on my way. <laughs> just clean it up. Watch turn and walk away. <laughs> what I wanted was herbs. <laughs> Now you're on a most wanted list. <laughs> You've got a moldy squirrel. Okay, so you walk away. We'll cut over to uh, <laughs> Nazak now. <laughs> Nazak, you've gone to the Temple of Imogen. Uh, yeah, well, I wouldn't have left from the turn in there. Have I yeah. had a chance for a long rest? Yes, you've had a chance for a long rest. <laughs> no, you shall suffer <laughs> on one hit point. I will get you. You're still tired from running all that way back. <laughs> 
No running involved. <laughs> He used up all of your running for one day. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I'd be kind of just sat waiting for Ingaro. All right. So Ingaro emerges from the side corridor. Um, as resplendent as he always is in his uh, robe. More like a large towel he has wrapped around his shoulders and waist, uh, covering one side. He appears to be freshly bronzed. <coughs> uh, Nezek, um, he's been ill. He's been for a couple of days. What is, what is wrong? You are looking somewhat forlorn. Did, did I do a bad thing? You mean back when the issues with your tribe? Oh, I broke your oh, mirror. Yes, that was uh, it was an item that belonged to the temple. It was a holy item. And, but I do not worry about it. It is still just a thing. And things can be replaced. The blessings <coughs> of the gods can also be replaced on an item, it is just a thing. It's going to come back to you. It, it, it was a bad neighbor. Let's just chop that off. I don't think so. It is a mirror I purchased myself. It may have been used in a bad way, but it... Again, I am emphasize to you, Nazak, it was a thing and not a... not an evil entity itself. For an item to have evil in it is an unusual and dangerous thing. But if you are worried that you have damaged my mirror and I am annoyed in some way, you need not worry. I am not angry at you or upset. It was a mirror from the temple, but it is still just a, an item. It can be replaced. You can't be replaced though, so... Uh, you are alive, despite the hardships that we have seen in this room. The tale died. The people in the Temple of Ga. The, the people who, who went to the mine with me. Who, who was it who went to the mine with you? Was a small, small man with a walking crossbow. Gun, 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 gunner. Gunner. There, there was a small, small lady. I think she had a beard. She, she owns one of those shops in, in town where the funny, smelly man. So Gunner and Rock Wall. So Thorin. Thorin. And there, there was another one, a man in shiny armor. He lost his fingers. I see. the one mine and it, we, we took a lot of it, it was a hard fight I, I took down as many orcs as I could but there, there was another man who who was shooting at us he, I, I think Garrett killed him but then, then we rested up and we went to the big mine and we saw these bigger orcs. They, they 
the bigger than, than the orbs I've seen in my mainland. And they, they, they hunted us and we jumped down a hole and then we, we tried to get out but something went wrong and one of the one of the lady orcs saw us and shouted out and then the the biggest orc came and killed them. Well I mean <clears throat> this profession as a mercenary or adventurer unfortunately there are casualties. But it's my job to to defend them and stop them so they can get away. I'm meant to be the one that that dies. You are meant to be the one that fights Nazak, that is what you do. You use your strength and you as long as I have known you you have been trying to make up from the failings of your past, your weakness, with your great strength. And I've heard many times from Father Howell how you have stood up against very powerful enemies, incredibly bravely, and I'm sure that is what you did. You fought with your friends, but they did not make it. You are not a, a healer. You are curious about the gods, but you do not have the ability to heal. So you would have done what you do. You, you fight. They, they said to run. Mrs. Rockwall said to, to run. Because the situation was too serious. She knew they were going to die, so she shouted, run, so he ran. But that's not honourable. Gara closed his eyes for a long time. And opens and takes a deep breath. No, it is not. You let them die. I couldn't fight them all. There were too many. They, they outnumbered us. I see. I sent lots of them to Gar, like, like the man told me to. I just couldn't stop and say the words. Tragedy in Azak that you didn't feel that you could do anything. Maybe there's some way you could make up for this incident, do you think? Some way you could make it right for the weight that must hang on you for the death of your friends. I need to feed the tribe. They they think that poor Fell's still alive. Mm. And and then I can challenge it. And what of your friends that are dead? What about them? You wanting to challenge the orcs is all about you. That's what you want. That's what makes you feel good. This is the temple of love, so we do talk a lot about what makes you feel good. Yes. And now here we are selfishly talking about how to make you feel right. 
You don't worry about your friends, we worry about you getting some satisfaction from fighting these orcs that you couldn't fight on the day, but now you will. Mm. I see. You must make this up in another way. Yara closes his eyes again. I am sure, Nazak, that um, you feel terrible about what has happened, but we are often put in situations from which there is no escape, from which there is no winning, and all that would happen is that there would be more souls on their way to Gar or wherever it is they are going. These people that died, four of them, you say, yes? Nazar just nod his head because he can't count anyway. <laughs> Those are souls that have moved on to the other side. If you had a stayed and fought, if what you say is true, then there would be five souls on the way to Gar or wherever it is that they are going right now. That would change the balance of things too much. We cannot have death right now. We must live. <coughs> we must all live until things are the way that they should be. No more death. Where is Father Howell? I have not. S I haven't seen him for a while. He, he said something about a boat. Hmm. Well, for now, Nazak, I want you to heal and get strong. You will have to fight again. But don't leave, let your desire to beat this orc let you lead others also into danger. Okay. I'm going to the arena today. It's good, it'll be practice for you. Will you come and walk? Well, I have a few matters to attend to. Um, I have a, an in-depth meeting with Tatiana this morning. But if I can free myself up um, from my duties, I will, I will come and cheer, but not for Darius. Thank you, Incarvan. 
Oh, of course. Uh, you are a friend of the temple, and I like to think my friend as well, so... Now go. Try and... Uh, when the sun hits your face, even though it does not carry much warmth at the moment, be thankful that you are alive. Things of Imogen on you. And on you, you'll keep the side of Imogen. <laughs> you'll stand there, you'll have left a, a small pouch on the cube that you sat on. Okay. <sighs> Meeting with Tatiana is interesting. Imogen is such a wholesome and Wish I was there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anybody want to do anything else? What, what are we going to do? Have you decided yet, Archie? Yes. Okay, who are you going to be? Tonight, uh, Matthew. Tonight, Matthew. <laughs> tonight, Jamie, the half orc barber, uh, half orc militia ah. member, Tog, is feeling very chipper okay. since it's his final day before retirement. <laughs> he's too uh, old for this shit. He's too old for this shit. He's taking his dog Axel out for. Little run out near the arena, okay. and he dealt with the the baggy and the the waste. You know, found a bin to put it into, and <laughs> thinks perhaps a forward-thinking society that's already yeah, got. That's right, <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even a real dog, so I'm <laughs> not sure how that happens. Uh, yeah, might just pop into the arena. All right, when he's day off. Okay. So, uh, you're approaching the arena, um, Bear. So, Bear, could you describe yourself for us so uh, I can refresh them? Uh, Bear is eight foot Goliath, uh, blue greyish tinge, has a large bear tattoo over his shoulders and body, looks kind of docile in appearance. Uh, but he has a pugilist face, so he's been in a lot of punched a lot of times in the face. So he's had a lot of trouble, a lot of scars and bits and pieces of that. Um, he's wearing, because he is a council member, what appears to be like an old Roman toga type thing <laughs> over the top of him at the moment. Okay. <laughs> and you're currently outside saying you don't have to fight. Yes, I mean, at the, as a gladiator and people are going into fight, like, you don't have to do this. They're okay. making you do the fighting. So, uh, so the arena itself, <laughs> as we see over here, um, there's some scaffold up on the outside of it with parts of it that look like they're uh, under renovation. But the main gates have, have got a, um, like there's a metal gate in there, but it's preventing access for the moment. The day's shows have not yet begun. But nonetheless, you can hear some the sound of swords clashing against each other within the arena and there's some kids pushed up against the gate trying to look in and have a look um, but yeah there's a few people coming up and looking at the timetable and then walking away or, or whatnot now a few of you have headed off to the arena at this stage who've gone off to the arena you say you've gone you've gone you've gone you've gone you're still looking for herbs and you've just left the temple of Imogen yeah heading towards the arena so I'll, as soon as I leave the temple of arena I'll take a big sigh shoulders back and making at least the outward appearance that all is well okay all right so we'll come back to you in a second so the bulk of you are, are sort of milling around the outside of the arena at the moment seeing the gates shut hearing the sounds of metal on metal inside kids running around there's a guy who's set up um outside well a couple of them have set up outside some food stalls that already have some Fragrant meats on the go and um, warm bread is being put on stand. You can see that there's a wheelbarrow full of bread that some kid has got and he's wheeling it back up towards the marketplace and it comes back a short time later with more bread and uh, to restock these uh, stalls. Uh, plenty of the people who wait for the arena open are helping themselves to this food, which is exchanging hands. There's a few people sat on benches around the outside. Um, it's not only crowd, but there's a, there's a lot of people here. There's obviously a fair amount of excitement for the uh, the arena to open for the day. A couple of people have crowded around Bear and listening to, um, why shouldn't they fight? Well, they might get hurt. Yeah, but but um, what if um, what if um, what if I want to see them get hurt? 
Are you going to be fighting? No, nah, no, nah, I'm going to pay to watch them get hurt. Well, that's your choice. Y well, yeah, but if there was no one going to get hurt, I'd feel like um, like um, like it was a rip-off. Well, then if there was nobody to fight, <coughs> then there wouldn't be a show. And So they should fight. No, that wasn't what I was thinking. Oh, okay. Can I sneak up behind this person? <laughs> just this big green dragonborn <laughs> snout, like sort of Jurassic Park, just comes up next to him here. And just, what if they hurt you? Well, um, we mean like if, if 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 the railing's down or something. I start to lick lips next to it. <sighs> what if the animals get hungry? <laughs> what if they break it's free the into the crowds? <laughs> <laughs> Is he looks around? Is is this is this like a bit? Is is this in the show? Am I going to be in the show? Is this? He's looking around to see if any of the promoters are nearby. <laughs> I'm going to cast primal savagery just to cause the uh, fangs to start dripping acid and stuff, not to actually attack. Oh, he takes a step <laughs> aside of that. Oh yeah, right. Come on, I'm paying customer now. Animals get hungry. Yeah, 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 yeah they do. They Everyone. Uh, uh, what are you? What are you saying? So, make an intimidation check. You shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> He's not very good at that, but. Uh, 14? Are you, are you actually uh, in the arena? You're like a fighter, are you? You're like part of the show. Do I look like a fighter? No, you look like a lizard, but, like, what are you? I'm a dragonborn. The lizard's very offensive. Don't give a shit. <laughs> I'll walk closer to him. <laughs> Take a step back. No, I don't give a shit. I, I want to. I, if you're going to the arena, I want to see you get stabbed, and I'm going to pay good money to see it happen. So, so, so. I've got myself here. As the council member for interracial uh, e equality. What? That's <laughs> what? Word for better. He's heard someone else say he's, that. He's just heard it a number of times. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> I, I've practiced it a number of times. <laughs> that, so you shouldn't be doing that, and that will make them feel intimidated. We're trying to make everybody in sure. include. <laughs> hold my hand included. down. Included. Like, and I, then pay. I don't. F I don't feel intimidated. It's like asking if I get intimidated by like a, a cattle or a cow or a goat or something. So you can't assume his race. <laughs> 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 I assume he's a lizard. That's, that's, that is racist, sir. Is you it? shouldn't be doing things like that in this day and age. <laughs> what? Is he not a lizard? Well, you tell me what he is. He's a dragonborn. It's a type of lizard, isn't it? It's, it's all the same. How far away from him? <laughs> like, like five feet, only been taking a step back if you two on board. I want to take a, a snap at him, but no, don't, I want to... Um, Obviously, miss. Oh, I, do I, you? Don't, I don't want to. Well, now the dice inside there, so. If he's five feet away, I just want to lean forward and just like. Because Bear's in the way. Yes, I'm kind of. Yeah. yeah. So, you know Stop that. It. You, 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 you know that. Insane. Hold me back, hold me back sort of thing. <laughs> oh, go, oh, come on, hold me back. Yeah. Just sort of like lean around Bear and just take a snap. But I, I don't want to. I, yeah, well, how tall let's are see you? Let's accidental happen, shall yeah. we? Okay. How tall are you? Come on, one. Uh, if you bite bear. That's a two, that's <laughs> fucking close. <laughs> <laughs> so you snap right next to him, missing him, but catch his clothes. He, uh, he's pulled up, <coughs> one part of his clothes caught in your teeth. Oh, oh, hang on. This is, this is new! <laughs> <laughs> and you haven't paid to see me. No, no, this is a free show, but I'm not a participant. <laughs> Right, when I pay, I want to sit up, I want to eat the meat bits, I want to eat those funny little green things they got with the dip, gonna, right, and I want to cheer for people getting hurt. I'm going to hold my hand up and say, and you said you'd pay to see me in there, so pay. I'm not paying you, paying the guy in the ticket booth. You're just like, just some street thug, some street lizard. <laughs> I'll rip his clothes. <laughs> he grabbed the clothes and ripped just to, to, rip, to rip me free, but I'll do it in the most way to cause most damage to his clothes. His <laughs> brand new clothing. The front of his <laughs> athletics check. Let's go see how far this is going to go. Uh, oh, 
So you yeah. grab the front of his face, rip it right <laughs> open, the entire front of his tunic is... Yeah! Oh! Oh! No! Oscar. My wife! She... Oh, she's gonna know! Sir, are you, a fr- are, you, are you a fan of the arena, are you? Yes, but I'm not a fan of this! You could take that as a souvenir. He is a fighter in the arena. You are a fighter, aren't you? Come here. He's a fighter. <laughs> that is a souvenir of one of the champion fighters. Well, 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 all right then. If he's a fighter, that's okay. That would be one silver for no, the souvenir. No, <laughs> no, it's not. This is ruined. And I, I mean, that's good eat for me. The fans. That's <clears throat> where the money comes from. I mean, if you're any good, I could take this. And I could put it in some sort of thing on the wall where I can look at it. <laughs> just, but still, just think so. If he survives, that could be worth some money in a bit. Yeah, well, if. Let's go and get a bite to eat, shall we? I'm paying. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) He goes off. Um, The rest of you in the arena have seen this whole situation kicking off a short distance away. Uh, What about the rest of you then? What's what's your uh, angle? Um, There's... A main gateway. Isn't there, isn't the main it? gate. Main gate. There's a bunch of kids uh, pushed up against it, trying, you know, faces up against the bars, trying to catch sight of the fighters inside. But it's, it's clearly not open. Yet. It's not open at the moment. There's a man on the gate who um, periodically pushes the kids out of the way and allows someone through, and then shuts it again. I'll just try and walk up to the gateway then. Yeah. No, sorry, sir. Uh, fights not don't start till uh, eleven. When's that? You know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, usually somebody blows a whistle in there and I just sort of open the gate, but I've been told to say 11. It's really difficult. There's no guarantee. I don't know whether they've got some sort of hourglass or something they keep turning. Do you mind if I just wait out here until you can go in? Oh, there's loads of people waiting outside. Yeah, you're welcome. welcome. Are you a uh, fan of the fighters, are you? Well, I was looking to fight, actually. Oh, you want to get in? You want to go and do some fighting? Well... I believe that Bronodon is going to do some uh, tryouts, um, but I can get you in to sign up for that if you want. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, go, for, go for the gate there. He opens the gate. Get out of here! Ah, and he pushes some child over. <laughs> <laughs> right, here you go. Right, just go through that uh, side archway there, and there's what looks to be an archway in an area that looked like it used to be an office of some sort, but it's all been cleaned out now. So right through there. I gotta watch the gate, but Bronodon should be through. Bronodon. Bronodon. Yeah. All right. Well, you just go for the short archway. It's got a curved um, ceiling to it, and you make your way through. And there's uh, a small room with a couple of doors off it, um, and there's some large sheets of parchment up on the wall. And there's uh, one man wearing. Um, mid-range looking noble clothes not the most expensive but um, if anything he looks like he's tried to dress the part more than he is the part um, and he's scrawling on these bits of paper uh, and seems to have not notice as you enter the room hello oh so <laughs> you completely got me sorry uh, you shouldn't be in here yet we're not open till 11 the man outside today come in here to fight well not in here no no uh, to you want to try arrange it, it. yeah oh, all right. Right. well um, we've got some stuff I don't know but really we're going to try I only let people in the arena who've actually got a chance of being able to do something don't want any more of those embarrassing incidents they had used a lot the last time you know well, I put some peasants in there <laughs> fucking Helvetians I don't know what they're doing they'll throw anyone in the arena no what we're doing now we're going to make sure everybody's properly qualified fighter before they go in are you a qualified uh, like arena entertainment fighter well I can fight right well that's one of the qualifications I need out about the six or so that I mentioned um, I'm going to do some tryouts this morning because we could do with some new recruits um, but I don't want to put it in the arena I don't want people to see half-baked fighters putting on a shitty job like some sort of Saturday matinee what I want um I've arranged for a small area just outside the city walls, and I'm going to let a few people who are feeling they're capable, you know, have a, just show me what they can do. I'm not just looking for a fighter, I'm looking for someone who can put a show. You know, someone who comes in with a bit of presence. Someone who can, you know, 
not just walk out to the sand, but float out onto the sand. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, but I can't float. No, no, no. It's a, it's a, well, I mean, it'd be great if you could. That'd be fantastic. But in the, in the absence of being actually able to actually float, what I'm looking for is someone who can metaphorically float. I can breathe fire. Holy shit. <laughs> we could do with that. For, for reference. Like, so you want to get your like, the fire eater act then, you know, twirling the batons and that sort of thing. You, you, what you're saying is a, a red scale Dragonborn <laughs> um, chainmail battle axe shield. Well, yeah, I mean, we don't have any Dragonborn yet, I suppose, so, uh, so it would be good if we could have at least a Dragonborn on the docket. I'll, I'll fight anyone, really. All right. Well,. <clears throat> If you could get yourself outside the uh, city, go over, out the main gate, turn right, go over to where the graveyard is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then you could see uh, out there, we set up a, just a small area, put some fencing up, and we're just going to do a couple of quick bouts. If you're good enough, then we'll get you on the uh, the afternoon thing. You, uh, uh, We can't, just the afternoon to start with, see how you do. It's all right. Yeah. Do you want me to head over there now? Or? Uh, if, if you, within the hour. Like, if you go over there within the hour, but uh, we we'll put you up some against some mid-range fighters if you're successful, and you you have the crowd looking at you, cheering for you, could work your way up to us, our prize fighter. You need to think about a name as well, though. I've got a name. No, yeah, but uh, like no combat name. I'll, I'll give you an example. For the, like our top fighter at the moment, our champion that we bought in from overseas is called the Decapitator. Guess he takes heads then. He, he beats you in regular combat. We're gonna we're gonna pump this up for the crowd. They're gonna be all on their feet. They're gonna love it. He beats him up and then he wins and then he throws down his sword with his bare hands. He rips their head off. It's only in the after dark match, obviously. Your kids have gone home. <laughs> I'll try and think, but I don't know. Yeah, well, think about something. Like, don't go for like Red Dragon. No, nothing like that. Or scale man. No, no, more imaginative than that. Okay. Think right. about it. Sometimes you can't fix something, the crowd starts shouting out, and that gives it to you. That might be what I need. Oh, all right. Well, okay. Within the hour, go to the tryouts. Um, <clears throat> there's a few, uh, a few people going, so you should be out, have a good go at it. All right. right. Thank you. Well, oh, around. Malone. You ask for Malone when you get over to the. Malone. Malone. He's at the graveyard. He, well, no, he's not at the graveyard. Next to the graveyard, that's where they set up the small right. pit area. Yeah. All right. I'll turn around. Tire off. Okay. Right. So you go back out, go back to the gate, and the guy lets you back out again. Get back, you little shit. No, you can't go in. And you can't, you, no point you standing here. You can't see any of them from here. Get back. Pushes you out again and then shuts the gate behind. Is, there's a scream as a child gets his arm caught in the gate and he has to open it again. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Right, once you get here, I'll just start heading towards out of the city. All right. In that general direction, at least. So, back to you. <laughs> what are you doing now? I'm walking around, holding my squirrel. Am I still, am I being tailed? No, no, no. I so, think uh, Jeffrey just stood and watched you <coughs> walk away. Okay. And whereabouts am I? I'm still in the market. Uh, you were in the market last time, so you're in the southern end of the market, which is around here. Um, yeah. Okay. I think I've had enough adventure for one day. <laughs> so, turning around, I see a poster. And <laughs> for plot's sake. Gonna head towards the arena. <laughs> I'm going to head towards the arena. That's what I like to hear. One man adventure by himself. <laughs> it's happened before. I've, I've spent three hours trying to get someone to the plot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Spellcasting event. All right. Spellcasting event. To make some money. So that leaves Nazak is coming along as well. So pretty much everyone's heading to the arena. Uh, just as... Tannis. Just as Tannis is wandering away. Like a cat. <laughs> you two are going to get um, some food. We're assuming we're outside. We'd do it at the vendors at the, the vendors will yeah, still so be right. there. So we're going to see the other big dragonborn coming out. Yeah, the big red dragonborn coming out. Big red dragonborn. Uh, so I'm 
trying to order you food because you've been sure me. I pull out my money and I said, I'll get you a bite to eat. I walk over to the vendor mm-hmm. and I'll, I'll say, um, what food have you got in offer? Uh, I have the finest food that you can get in a small box placed outside uh, uh, an arena like this uh, that I can keep in its freshest possible state. I have a lot of small animals, they're skewered on a stick. Uh, I've got a little fire down here, I keep them warm and swap them around occasionally. I uh, like to sell them before they get too crispy because you've got to get them while it's this oh, I like them crispy. Would you like some skewers? Yes. Please. How much for... Enough for me and him. We got a couple of options before you go. Like so, first you could have uh, you could have the squirrel. Ooh, squirrel. The squirrel. We got squirrel. We got the rat. Not as bad as people say. It's I pretty like good. The rat. Or if you're the feeling rat. particularly hungry, we got a badger. Ooh, I haven't had badger in ages. Uh, two rats and a and a badger, please. Make that, rats and a badger. <laughs> make, make that three rats. Right. <laughs> you pull that in small sticks and then. A, <laughs> well, I'll drop a badger on for you. Um, that is uh, just the silver and the copper. Okay. I'll t- pull out a bag right, and I open them up, and it's just a huge bag of like 500 gold. Is a <laughs> um, I'll take out. Uh, do you have. Che- I'll, I'll take out. Do you have the silver? <laughs> like, is it just all gold, or is it. It's just. Oh, it, it's just a sea of gold. <laughs> the silver is about that. Um, I'll rummage in and try take out two silver. And a gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that going to be enough? That 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 will be fine. And I'll sort of palm the gold in my hand. And give it a bit of <laughs> make a slight hand check. Uh, let me just double check. Seventeen. Okay. I don't notice. Uh, thank you either. very much. As he t- takes the silver and the copper. Thank you. Money's not my strong point. You put that away. <laughs> it's, it's all done. <laughs> all right. So at this point, we've also so you're there as a your dragonborn in your uh, green dragon green dragonborn. dragonborn. We've got a red dragonborn just walking out of the arena, and we've also got a silver dragonborn. A silver dragonborn uh, just I'm, walking into the. I'm going to notice all these dragonborn. I go. Oh, it's like an equality day event. This is just what the council. <laughs> this is council's clearly set this up for you. Yeah, for you. <laughs> oh, Dragonborn, come have some more food. Brilliant. <laughs> I went to walk over. And I've got a piping hot squirrel in my hands. Anybody fancy some squirrel on with it? Uh, oh, but I am a little piece of paper. The Equality and Diversity Council of Mist Hass. You, you'll see me with just rats. <laughs> <laughs> like rats. <laughs> I have a badger. How about some food? Are you new to the town? I'm fairly new. How about a fresh badge, a uh, fresh squirrel? That one doesn't smell very good. I'm pretty sure I pressed a digitation it to smell amazing. It's some. You can polish a shit, but it's still a shit. Yeah. It's, there's some. <laughs> there's, it's a very shiny shit. There's some gunk coming out the side part of the <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> Sauce, so, but let's have some fresh ones. Throw it as far as I can. They behind. have rat, badger, and squirrel. What would you like? <clears throat> well, I'm a bit off squirrel now. So, what do you, what do you recommend? How's well, this the is the badger. This yeah, like massive badger on <laughs> a spike. How is it? <laughs> pretty is good. It? It's pretty it is good. pretty good. Not a lot of meat on it, but. <laughs> 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 and, and how are the rats? Crispy. I'll have a crispy rats. Okay. It's like a large chicken wing, essentially. You know, it's all bone <laughs> and you really. I can imagine he would have served us the crispier stuff first. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah. And what would you like to? I'd say, for, for the sake of not hurting cattle everywhere, um, as I'm heading out, I'll just smell all this food, no doubt. And I'll walk over to you guys. And a man offering free food. <laughs> I don't mind, whatever you've got, spare. A badger. No badger? I'll take out the big bag of money I gotta go. Could you help me? <laughs> How much? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to be five copper for the badger. I'll try to get out five copper and I'll do the gold thing again. <laughs> Make a slight hand check. <laughs> oh, shit. No. That, that's six. Natural one over here. Oh, okay. So. That's going to be like a 16. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just take the bit of money that's appropriate. <laughs> hand over the badger. I'm going to need to put another badger on. <laughs> There's a badger for you, sir. Thank you. Are you here to, to fight in the arena? 
Uh, well, I'm here. I wasn't planning on fighting. I don't think it should be that good here, but uh, I can try and keep make sure that all you guys are okay, really. I've just been inside, and the man inside told me about where we need to go. Or where I need to go. If you're fighting, you go with me. I can come with you. I'm here to look after the beasts. Okay, I think. Oh, Do you need to keep the rest of that money? It's in case any more people come. Okay. For food. <laughs> Speaking of which, how much did you take? Uh, two gold total. <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen, but did somebody drop this half squirrel over on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> As per the official Mistas regulations, there is a fine for dropping litter upon the pavement or any premises that belongs to the town. Is that man that I ripped his top? Still up. Yeah, he's still, still waiting to get in right now. I'll point to him. Okay. He dropped it. Yeah, no, I, I'm gonna blame him as well as he stands out. <laughs> right, I'm pretty sure he dropped uh, it. To go talk to him then, I think. Attempt to put on some clothes. Indecent. I oh, know, just I think shocking. Is a part of the Mr. House code about uh, clothing? I'll just check. Thank you very much no problem. for your work and citizen. Thank you for your service. You could offer him a rat. Would you like a rat? Uh, as long as it's better looking than that squirrel, I would find it most <laughs> appetising, in fact. See, you could use that for money crispy. you kept hold of to pay for the... I'll give him one of mine so they don't get cold. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll catch up with that guy later, I think. I think I'll enjoy this rat for the moment. <laughs> I, I didn't catch your name. Oh, it's Tog. How are you spelling that? <laughs> Carefully. <laughs> a T, an O, and a G. And this is Axel. A X E L. Who's he pointing at? A dog, a small dog. How small? How small is Axel? I didn't he's catch a your medium. Guy's names. No. <coughs> he's a medium animal. Gortek. Yeah, he's a Gortek. Okay, Gortek. Tannis. Tannis and Kishan. Kishan. Not very often we get three dragonborn in one place, all different colours. Not trying to say that there's three different colours. Yes. That's it. <laughs> so you get <laughs> Colours is a big enough word for bear. <laughs> where, where, do <laughs> where do we sign up to fight? Sorry? Where do we sign up to fight? This chap said about fighting. Uh, who knows? They're holding some sort of practice <coughs> just outside town. But where? Out the gate towards the graveyard. There's sort of a little stage set up apparently. The man inside said, told me to go there within the hour. I don't know what an hour is, but. Can I just walk up to the doorman, Jamie? I just want to ask him where the beasts are kept. Uh, we've got cages under the inner floor. <coughs> for Who looks after them? I don't know the guy's name, actually. I'm just a doorman. Were they taken to the. Uh, tryouts. The tryouts? No, it's animals. You like poke them with sticks until they get really angry and then let them loose. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I might have a better way for them to perform than your stick method. Well, you mean like starving them for a couple of days? <laughs> like talking to them. You up? You haven't said anything in a while now, I'm a bit worried you forgot what you were saying. Like talking to them. You could, well, right, well, you, I mean, you could talk to your dog <coughs> and stuff like that, can't you? Say, good boy, good boy, fetch. Well, I'm not that sure they understand what you're going on about. I mean, so well, you want me to go go up to a tiger and say, get in there, my son, go for the leg first, it's his weak spot. I'll cycle through uh, Draconic and Druidic, basically calling him an ignorant prick in both. <laughs> but just to, uh, so anyone that knows Draconic or, or Druidic can hear me call him an ignorant prick. Um, but just to show that I know multiple 
languages. Uh, right. Animals speak. You just need to listen. No, they don't. Animals don't speak. Are you all right? It sounds like you're having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were talking to me normally, and then you're all like. Arr, 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 arr. I wish to take control of your beasts to perform better and make sure that they are well kept. <laughs> Like that, I'm the doorman. Who does? Bronodon is the guy running the place. May I speak with him? Oh, yeah, I could send you to speak to Bronodon. Just, uh, hold on. Pushes a bunch of kids back. Uh, we put into the uh, gate through the door on the side there, on the right side. I walk straight through. You're the same way. Bronodon, you get again. This back on the wall. He's got lots of boxes up there now with lines going between different people. He's clearly trying to work out matchups between uh, different uh, fighters. <coughs> Bronodon? <laughs> Bloody hell. People in here all the time. I'm trying to get this done before like tonight. I hear you have beasts that you poke with a stick. <laughs> That's right. I feel I could be a better Beastmaster than your current one. When you say Beastmaster, what are you talking about? You're like going to ride on the back of one or something like that? It'd be pretty good. I mean, I mean big lizard riding on the back of a tiger, that'd be amazing. That I could, could draw that on a poster. I could cause them to perform much better than they do currently. Mm -hmm. What do you mean perform? They perform pretty good at the moment. I've got this one tiger, right? Called Saraya. She's a fucking vicious bitch like my ex-wife. And do you poke it with a stick? Yes, I do. Secret is not to feed her anything for three days before the match, and by the time she gets out there, she'll eat anything. Lost Have a hand. Have tried to talk to him? No, she ripped my throat out. She's a tiger. Again, I'll cycle through the druidic and animals talk if you listen. Oh, okay. Well, let's say hypothetically animals talk. What if Soraya says, Oh, I don't fancy fighting and I'd like to be fed all the time. They can be persuaded. So what kind of thing would you persuade the Soraya to do? She already goes in and savages whoever we put in front of her. What's she going to do better? But you don't want to lose staff. Oh, it's not my staff. It's people who put up. It's the contain, so it's not, not a problem. Don't worry about it. You would hate to lose your best draw in to some disease they gained off these people. We've got a professional healer called Nerissio, Gar worshipper, all right? And he just, any disease, any injury, any of my folks suffer, he's on it straight away. Would you not want all your beasts to perform at that level? Make persuasion wrong. Uh, it's not going to be very good. Uh, persuasion. Eight. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. What's your name? <coughs> Gortek. I'm going to be Gortek. I mean, I think, I think we've got it handled. The, the, the current system of poking them and starving them works pretty good. <laughs> you know, why start tipping the boat around if it's already floating? So Gortek is... Green Dragonborn, he's normally six foot, he's always hunched to about five and a half, five feet. Yeah. So he'll stand up, stretch, and you'll hear sort of creaks and cracks as if he's not done it in a while. Yeah. I'll go to your training grounds and I'll show you how I can get beasts to perform. Sure, yeah, well, uh, whatever, you, whatever you say, but I'm not looking to pay someone else's wages right now. Already spent a lot of money fixing this place up. Previous owners made a right mess of it. You should have seen down in the basement. Corpses everywhere. Those things don't get rid of themselves. I'll turn and walk out because I know that the other chappy we've just met knows where it all is, so I feel I don't need his extra supplantary information. Okay. 
Nazo could have just started walking straight towards where oh, yeah. the dragon was. I, was, was I forgot it existed. <laughs> 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 well, you kind of thought you were going to start robbing something. <laughs> this is, this is one of those ones <laughs> where we introduce a new party and I viciously try and get them all in the same direction yeah. and they fight me. They fight me on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm heading by your targets today. <laughs> Amongst this group of kids, I'm somewhere in there, constantly being pushed back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so on, get back. About the same size. Almost got my arm shut in a gate. <laughs> uh, I overhear you guys talking about where to go, so I'm just going to tag along and just follow you. Right. Yeah. So, assuming ultimately you band together and head out to this area, you go out up the northern part of the city through the gate, then out through the main gate onto uh, the road that leads off into the wilderness. You see the road, the road heads off into the north, there are mountains and hills ahead. and. Um, it looks wide open and wild that direction. But you turn to the right and head around the wall of the city. And once you're around all the way on the eastern side, which, on what would be the elven part, just the other side of there, you can see a fenced off graveyard area. There's a number of haphazard stones placed here. And it looks like the gate has been moved recently. A new section of gate has been put up to encompass many more graves. Not very far away from that, it's just slightly north of it, you can see that some rough wooden fencing has been put up and there's a couple of fighters in there already having a go under the watchful eye of um, what looks to be an elf who stood on a platform pointing and shouting at them. That's probably that Malone guy that Bonadon told us about. Didn't tell me. Well, he told me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what does everybody look like just so we can... So we've got green dragonborn. So green dragonborn really hunched over to about five, five and a half feet, but does stretch up to six. He doesn't look like his bloodline's been watered down much. So he looks quite early on generation. Yeah, quite a, still got a lot of the muscle there. Some stumps where you think other stuff might have devolved and and, and so on. In a very dirty poncho. <coughs> With a few extra gold coins in the pocket. Don't we swing that? What gold coins? Bear? Uh, bear, eight foot Goliath, blue, grey, big tattoo of a bear, and still wearing the kind of toga over the top of what works when you described as kind of, kind of animal skins over the top of that. Uh, eating a badger on a spike. That, that is it. He has no weapons on him at all. Uh, and that's all he looks like, right? just very smashed up face. Like I spent too long in that arena. Fine, Laurie's here in time. <laughs> Rabbit. Uh, it's just uh, like a, you know, like a child size, well not top, like up to like two and a half feet tall, um, wearing a um, green hooded cloak thing, I guess, with a leather armor and uh, a satchel. And no shoes. Big hairy feet. Yes, big hairy feet. That's right. We love it. Yes. Oh. Middle-aged half orc in a militia uniform, off duty. <laughs> <laughs> Ship's finished. So half orc size, but slightly not not rippling with muscles like your average barbarian. Kishan was a red dragonborn, correct? Tannis. Tannis, Tannis was red, red Yeah, dragonborn. so red dragonborn, so red scales. About pretty tall, much taller than I'm going to go there. I'm about 6 8 ish, so much, much more muscly. Um, in chainmail, um, carrying a, a shield and a battle axe. Moving things is that the armour looks. Kind of like covered in soot and scorch marks. It's kind of just it looks used. And probably very, very warm. <laughs> and did I was silver dragon silver. ball. That was it, yeah. Wearing leather armour. Squirrel juice around his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and half half a pendant on his on his chest. That's not him, but we don't have a mini for him yet. <clears throat> and for those who haven't 
come across and I was like, he's uh, six foot eight, more on the half orc with half, uh, more on the orc side of half orc, uh, pretty much just pure muscle, walking around in a long cloth, got a very large scimitar, very large, like great sword size scimitar there on his back with a battle axe with a, a silvered edges um, and carrying an iron pot and you can see little bits of purple poking out of it. White reds. Because, <laughs> you know, it looks like we're approaching from that side. <laughs> I like that. Okay. So, um, obviously the houses aren't here, but over this side there's the, the railing of the graveyard. And you can see that, as well as gravestones, there's a number of tombs and whatnot. A couple of people working on that at the moment. One of them idly leaning on the gate, watching over the area where the uh, where you guys are fight. Well, these guys are fighting. The two men in the arena are circling around each other, um, hitting each other with a series of blows, mostly deflected with shields, um, wheeling round as the elf up on the platform. Um, it, like I said, gives direction. Do they look like they know what they're doing? Do they? Chain they, um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're putting a pretty good show of it. They're not running away. You said there's a there's like an elf that's like directing them. Yes. I'll I'll, I'll wander over towards the elf on the platform. <sighs> Um, so he looks down at you as you come over. Oh, Dragonborn. Yes, uh, uh, Ronadon sent us over. Mm -hmm. to you wish to try out? Yeah, he said, come in and fight, and if we do all right, we can go in the arena. Yes, well, um, that's the purpose of the goal today. I mean, I, uh, I'm mightily impressed to see a Dragonborn come and fight. It's, uh, it's an unusual sight and will do well in the arena. You almost don't need to try out. Your race will get you in with no effort, I think. But formality and everything. My name is Malone. Malone. How do you spell that? Like Malone. <laughs> <laughs> and Malone. Exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, but I'm writing down the pron his pronunciation of it as well. I'm sorry. Oh, no. We've got an umlaut in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll let these two finish and you can go in. What are you, have you got any special skills? Well, I'll kind of just kind of gesture to the shield and, and axe. Axe and shield? Good. I can... I would say it's pretty special, but with this company it's probably not that special. I can breathe fire. Well, um, hmm. But other than that, I can, I can fight. Alright. Well, get yourself ready. You two finish now, enough uh, showboating. And he gets mad. Right, get yourself in the arena there. Obviously, you'll have a lot more space for the rest of the proper thing. Which one are you? I don't know which one are That's me, that's you, that's uh, it's one, one of these two. Uh, I should put one in. That's me. Yeah, we've got one. There that's you. you. That's me now. That's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> Gainis. <Yeah. laughs> I'll. Um, I've seen Gainis for a while. If he's told me to get in, I'll, yeah, just, in. I'll just climb over the fence and just start <coughs> limbering up. And All right. I'm gonna right. <sighs> Need another volunteer to go up against this uh, one? Oh, fine. You're fucked. <laughs> 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 <Fact draw>. <laughs> <laughs> I will slow her up to Maloney and say, We're all here to fight. <sighs> Look at this. Another Dragonborn. Another one as well. Well done. I'm here for spell casting. Really? Yes. But you're so. Oh, well. Yes. It's just the way I am. <laughs> we should go in for the fist fighting and, and cast spells at the minute. It's bad. But, alright. Um, aren't you a well known. You've been in the arena before, haven't you? Long time ago. <laughs> well,. But you're a skilled fighter already. I've I fought a lot. Oh. I think he might be a bit unfair. He's a big guy, that one. Maybe someone more... Um, we'll put you up against someone. But uh, I'd hate to see you just 
rip the throat out of a rookie here, even though he is a challenge in size. Yeah, we, you're 6'8", aren't you? So we're pretty much the same size, just mm. I'll do different races. I'll do it. Oh. <laughs> Where's your mum? <laughs> 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 Oh, do, I, do you look like a fighter? Uh, I, you I look like have, a child. Well, you look like a child. I have a dagger. I have, you know, and I know how to use it. <laughs> Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I am a fully grown small person. Uh, yes, you're right. Uh, <laughs> despite the trappings of my race, uh, my time in this part of the city has taught me that I shouldn't make assumptions about. Just because you're small doesn't mean that you're. <clears throat> Can you use this? I'll take off my iron part and I'll pull out a short sword, Ooh, which know. is uh, reddish orange metal. It's quite rough looking, but it seems fairly solid. Uh, and if you want to know where it's from, it's taken from the Cyclops tent, which is on the beach. You can use it, but you do not have proficiency in it. But you can use it. That's why I took a dagger because I have proficiency with the dagger. Stick that in the ground. What about this? I'll produce a scimitar, just a normal looking scimitar. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. How do I equip that? <laughs> so if you're going to. Yeah. I'll remove it from mine. I'll save now, I've got a scimitar. I'm going to sit on the edge, just eating a badger. <laughs> 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 Hello. Oh, right. <laughs> a couple of fires round it. I you guys <laughs> round to the edge of it as well. Crowd round. Have a look, see. Alright, just let to. Uh, Can I ask him what are the. Scimitar? Rules. Um, <clears throat> so. Ross. That's good. For, for this, <laughs> really, what we're looking for is to see um, abilities not only martial but also in showmanship. Um, really um, the gladiator who goes into the arena and takes his opponent <laughs> down in a single swing is useless. Yeah. Cool. We need this fight to last. We need it to have to go backwards and forwards and show the crowd something special. Does that? So yes. no magic is forbidden, uh, ex with the exception of the spells. Uh, they have ended the world. <laughs> yes. The exception of the spell casting round, um, yes, magic is forbidden, no interfering with fighters' abilities. We use magic. Uh, magic items are allowed in the terms of if it is a uh, fighter's um, sword, magic uh, armor, and things like those things are permitted, but no casting spells in there. Of course, no healing until the end. In the case of this match, um, it will be. Um, the first to five successful hits. And that will strike victory for the point of this combat. Um, but remember, I'm looking for your ability to entertain as well as your ability to slay. <coughs> so if you're both ready, then I would encourage the two of you to, oh, he puts his hand up, fight, and continue your initiative. That would do it, it's D20, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ross, I think they're yeah, the ones closest to, the to you, oh, to your level. So, we'll have a look at that. Yeah. And even <laughs> then, closer in. I mean, even then, <laughs> that's only closer by three levels. 14. We're 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 have fun. Have fun. 18 flat. <laughs> okay. It is bare knuckle you'd be. So I've only got a half strike. He's the only one with bare knuckles. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> All the puns. All right, so it's Tannis versus the rabbit. Tannis is up first, top of the round. You've already got a good arena name. <laughs> so the rabbit. You know, looks like a child. He's okay. I'll I'll charge him. Okay. So you run straight at him. Yeah, I've got thirty feet of movement. So, I know. Oh, right. <laughs> so you're looking up at him. The dragon board just <laughs> comes down <laughs> straight towards you. I know, it will be swinging a battle axe towards you. I'm hurting my decisions. That's 19 to hit. Yes. Okay. <laughs> do you ha I don't know what you are, so do you have any abilities as reactions that you can do use? Oh, I don't have any clue, I don't think so. Um, okay. 
So under your reaction area, so just below down here, you end up with actions in combat. Oh no, sorry, bonus actions, reactions. No, only has opportunities. All right. So the dragonborn backs and runs towards you, <laughs> mouth open. The back <laughs> strikes into your flesh. Give me some damage, please. Uh, that's seven points. Seven points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> that's nearly. <laughs> you have ten. <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> that's alright, he's got a Sinto, he gets it in. Yeah. I guess, I guess I'll swing back at you, I suppose. Oh, yeah, so I'm. I'm alright, so put another scimitar, just be fresh and give you an attack at you. Make an attack roll. Uh. So, we've got plus four, right? Uh, yep. Yes. So you can go into oh, your yeah. you can go into your weapons. Not very nice. You you do have spells as well, so you can heal yourself in a bit. But where's your scimitar? <coughs> uh, just so. there you go. So yeah, you get your plus four on there, and that tells you your damage as well. Okay. So it's a uh, thirteen with a plus four. Interesting. Nineteen. All right. <laughs> well, <I> mean, <laughs> brings up the battle axe and blocks the scimitar on the haft of it, what? pushes you back. What armor are you wearing? Chain. Or a shield. But you have both hands. Balax is one handed. Uh, oh, is it? Oh, is it? It's a great yeah. Balax. Great Balax, is it? It's a versatile, can hold it in one, one or two hands. Okay. okay. I won't be making it to a Serena, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a show. Alright, is that what you got? Uh, I think so, yeah. You, only get to make you can dance two. around him. Yeah, you can try and move as well. If you move away, he gets an attack of opportunity, but you can dance around him and entertain the crowd. Oh, I should have done that before. Never mind. <laughs> I'll do it if I survive. Okay, so you are pinned up against the fence at the moment. Yeah. He's laying down with his battle axe. You swung with a scimitar and <laughs> popped it off. Back up to you, Tannis. I can, can I tell from my swing that I, I, I've hurt him? Yes. <laughs> Quite a lot, I'm assuming. He's, just, he's a small guy, so oh, just <laughs> the axe has <laughs> <laughs> lifted him up and shifted him. There's blood running down his side. I'll try and grapple him. You try and grapple him? Yeah. Okay. So, throwing his arms back, he lunges for you, trying to wrap his arms around you. Now, you can try and resist his grapple. Oh, I'd like to do that. Yeah. All right, so you get to use your choice of acrobatics or athletics, and you're going to get higher than him. You've got 20, haven't you? <laughs> for 25. Oh, okay. Uh, can you beat that? Uh, well, you can. You can, roll, so you go to you skills, can roll a 20 you and add your athletics. Whatever you've got. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, no, no, no. <laughs> so he comes at you, a shield on his arm, he wraps his arm around you. <clears throat> Got your position, you are now grappled, that's your action spent. That's my action, and I guess for movement, can I try and... The guy said to show off, mm -hmm. so can I kind of grapple and like, kind of... He's only small, so pick him up and kind of just... Like, uh, yeah, that's your action to do that, you can yeah. just ready to grapple him. Alright, I'll, I'll wait then. Yeah. Okay, so he's grappled you, you're up. What, what so grapple means it? your movement goes to zero. Okay. But you can still do everything else. Your arms yeah. are still free. It's kind of like a okay. big hug. You can try and uh, shiv him. I, I'm going to try and stab you then, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. You just no, 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 no. try to get your arms like, moving <laughs> away, one arm's like you can't. Ah, ah. Okay, you move with zero so you can't move. And unless you've got any bonus actions, we're back over to Tannis. And I will. Yeah, I will kind of parade around in the in the little space. Uh, this one is beaten. Okay, so you try and move him back. Make an athletics check for me. Maybe just two straight. Seven. Seven. Um, can you make uh, an athletics check for me, please? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what I get. Yeah, yeah. Go, go to your skills. Go to athletics, which is usually the top oh, of athletics, so you get plus zero, so it's just a nine. It's a nine. So you grab him and try to pull him back, but he digs his feet down into the ground. You find you can't, you can't move him. That would be my action, I imagine. That's your action. He's a very dense, small <laughs> person. Yeah. I'm going to try and stop you again. <laughs> nope. Would that be a 16? Yeah. 16. You tried again, you can't. Back to you. <clears throat> He, he definitely tried to stab me a couple of times, so I'm going to swing at him. No, I've missed. He's back to you. And I can't use magic, right? Magic's yeah. like banned. No, you you can't can use magic that's visible. Yeah. Yeah, so they, bear in mind, 
I, I've said you can't use magic, but that's a character say you can't use magic. You can oh, okay. do anything you want. Well, I could use magic. Rules yeah. are meant yeah. to be broken. How does magic work against like more guidelines? Like, so if you look at the spell, spell. look oh, at the spell. Yeah, what spell you so gonna... some spells make you do a make them do a check. It's so a, uh, it's just an ice knife. Okay, so if you re click on it, it'll tell you what it is. So it, it'll tell you it's one action. There's a range. It's a five foot area, and it's uh, semantic and material. And you've got your focus with you. So it tells you you create an ice shard and fling it at one creature within range. Now you say range spell attack. Can you do it while he's grappled? I don't know. Disadvantage. 60 foot range, which means there's a disadvantage because we're within 5 foot of somebody, but it does fill a 5 foot sphere. So we hit him as well? Uh, no, you just launch it in front of you, but it'd be a ranged attack at disadvantage. So you get plus 4, but you'd roll 2 dice to take the lowest from it. Or you can try and shiv him with the sword and take no disadvantage on them. Oh, it's the same, same. Oh, I'll just try and stab him now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, 20. Oh, <laughs> get stabbed. <laughs> oh, was that match or something, was it? No, no, no. it was my first. All right, so after trying two high blows, you bring your arm down, bring it in low, in finding a gap in his armour, and plunge the scimitar in. Oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Well, that plus two. Uh, five damage. Five, five points of damage. All right. <laughs> Tannis, you're up. <laughs> Is there any way to ungrapple yourself? Yes, you can spend your full action to try and break out of the grapple. Okay. But it will be your strength versus his strength. Uh, he's, okay. Yeah, he's drew blood or now. He's so or, he's or, he's or he's athletic. athletic. Sorry, I acrobatic. Yes. I'm swinging at me and he's drew blood. Right. Oh, natural one. Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need to dance. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same as fucking. Back to you. Uh, uh, he tries to swing at you, but because you're a diminutive size, he just can't get a good. Oh, that'll teach you. I imagine that kind of just stuck into the wood as you just. Yeah. Bang. I'm going to swing back at him. What? I miss. Miss again. <laughs> back to him. Yes, man. No. <laughs> I will try and stab you again. So now it's just the two of you next to each other. I. I get 21. It. 21. 21. Uh, yeah, so you roll your d6 again. Yeah, that's your second hit. Yeah. It was first to five. First to five hits. Uh, seven points and two and one. Oh. <laughs> he wins. Down. <laughs> 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 All right. With the, yeah, yeah. the second one in, and then you just see the look on his face <laughs> as he shudders for a minute, and then slides back. The grip releasing as Tannis falls back on the ground. No, no, no. To five. To five. <laughs> Oh good god. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> there's a man in robes. <laughs> gets between the fence and runs over. Can I just make sure he's okay as well? <laughs> he shows some sort of concern. Um, so a, a priest has run over to him. He's bleeding out from where you stabbed him. The priest quickly runs over and is going to give you eight points back. I was not expecting that. No, I mean, it, did, it had a twist. It had a twist yeah. to it. Although, and it did last a while, but a lot of it was hugging, which is <laughs> more the wrestling that we were going for. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was unexpected. I, I was entertained. I May told you I could fight. Maybe better in the unarmed I'm fights. I'm thinking you'd be good in the children's event. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a squirrel? I was trying not to kill him. <laughs> I was trying not to kill him. Yeah, yes. Well, obviously, yes. You could have taken him out. And I know. Don't, don't feel bad. I feel bad. <laughs> no, no, of course. Of course not. You did extremely well. You're very small. Mm, you're very scaly. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> very exciting. I'm enjoying the tension. This is... A, this is the sort of thing that will work well in the arena. We can uh, get a bit of anger going between you know your insecurities, and we can play that up with the crowd. And, um, but if you can do that again, if you can keep like looking pathetic and then <laughs> ultimately <laughs> come in and um, defeat a much larger opponent than yourself, that would be make some money out of looking that. Looking pathetic is my specialty. <laughs> so. Well, I mean, um, I, you're both in as I stand at the moment. So, um, have we, uh, do we have two more people that would like to try out? Well, um, um, you, you're not going to be too serious, are you, Nazak? 
got to remember to put a show on this, so um, I know you've done it before, but you know you have to get the crowd all g'd up and give us something to Yeah, I'll go against you. <laughs> so, um, you know, when you go in, going in imagine, the imagine what they're going to It's part of the showmanship. Four? You're going okay. into the arena, and all the crowd is going to be there, and you've got to throw your arms up. <laughs> That's right. Walk around the arena and let them cheer I'm for you, let them I'm see you. Yeah, I've got a plan. And then put on an entertaining fight. Um, and you uh, <coughs> aren't you? Are those council robes? Yes, they are. Uh, you're on the council. Yes, I am the equality and diversity <laughs> councillor for Mistas. Okay. Um, well, then you're welcome to. Uh, and I, I take out the robes, and there's a, a bristling Adonis body underneath it. Oh, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Just. Market it as council condoned fighting. Yes, well, I mean, I suppose it will make council meetings in future more interesting if. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. We, sh we should build you as the councillor. <laughs> <laughs> Did the priest heal me as well? Or the, oh, the priest healed the guy who was down, didn't he? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> he went over to Tannis. Cool. Stay on my <laughs> you just holding your side. He's <laughs> yeah. got a huge gash for a bat that's on it. Cool. Can I see that he's... Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Look, he got hit by an axe. I'll, uh... It was probably as big as you want. Yeah. It's about this one. I'll heal it. I'm still holding a badger at this time. Uh. <laughs> I've got what's left of it now. <laughs> I'll use a, a single action of a uh, healing light. Okay. Oh, thank you. All right. Four. Four. Yes, thank you very much. So second, uh, second round. What I said: showmanship. Try and put on a good fight. Maybe you're entertaining people who paid some money. So are you ready then? So it is. Um, Nazak. Versus the councillor. Bear, Bear seems to come out of himself from here and he's kind of like dancing around. Good. Good. Ah, that's good. Ah, feel like you've done and that. I kind of like stretch with the bar and I push one of the bars into the crowd and hit them in the back <laughs> as well. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, I'm um, looking across at Nazak. <laughs> wonderful. And Nazak? <laughs> Nazak gets in and just draws his sword. <laughs> All right, well, we can work on it, we can work on it. I just do the old uh, Henry Cabell, locking the arms oh, out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 on my mark, fight! Initiative from you, please. Uh, oh, You're going to get this mm -hmm. anyway, don't, I don't know, it's not going to be... <laughs> I'm still eating half a badger. <laughs> Issue. All right, Nazak. Uh, I'll just let out a really big growl just, uh, and just charge straight towards him. Uh, straight line towards him, right in front. Yeah. Uh, there's, you charge onto a piece of ground that's already got blood splattered all over it. <laughs> I'll swing recklessly. <laughs> You only have to get 15, mate. Okay. He's going to get it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying how much that was. <laughs> the fact that there's multiple dice concerning yeah. is concerning. Uh, nine. It's 15. 15 damage. I get two attacks. I get five of them back, so it's 10. <laughs> What did you say I need? 15. The second one just goes over your head into the wood behind you. Oh. I take 10 I damage. 14 on the second one. Alright, so that's how recklessly runs in, <laughs> straight into you, and then back, and you duck down, and it embeds in the uh, fence behind you. You get advantage on your attack back. Okay. Well, you were meant, this was meant to be just a bit of a spa. This seems a little bit. Bit serious, uh, and then the, 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 the bear just like the tattoo just starts to go. And I start, anger comes into him, uh, and I kind of dance around him a little bit, slip underneath it, and I kind of just spin around the back of him like that okay. as I come in. And then I go to take a big punch to the back of his head. Okay, <laughs> donkey punching. 
Uh, that's going to be same uh, result either way. <laughs> yeah, either way, it's going to be 18. twenty to hit. Eighteen. Uh, so hit him with that because uh, I am raging. I've got one gold on the big guy. And then uh, <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. he what he does is I'm going to spend a manu a maneuver dice okay. uh, for trip attack. Can you do a DC 13 save for us? Okay. Uh, save air strength, so you get advantage on it as well. Uh, five, I'm not raging tonight. Eight, I'm not raging. I didn't say I'd rage. Right. I've just charged straight in. I've roared and I've charged in. I assume that was a rage. <laughs> nope. Uh, 26. So you get that, but you so that's 8 plus 5. Uh, 13, 18. Damage to the Ooh. back of the skull. Oh. <laughs> Throwing punches back of the skull, <laughs> moving your leg around to try and trip him, but you, his leg is just an oak. Just missed out on there. Slam into it. Um, it's like John Claude Van Damme in Kickboxer, yeah. where he's trying to knock down that palm tree. There you go. <laughs> uh, and I just clout you in the back of the head uh, with what appears to be his fist and a little bit of badger in the inside of it. That was it. From there, I'm just kind of dancing around you like a little boxer. Okay, over to you. So you <laughs> pull your weapon out of the fence. I turn, smiling, laughing. What's that like? Not very pretty. <laughs> uh, and I swing right for three again. Uh, missing the first one, and then I'll start doing the dancing thing. Dancing around me as well. <laughs> Uh, that'll hit you, 26. Yeah, that hits. Uh, not 26, 16, sorry. So yeah, I think. Uh, 16 slashing. 16 Ooh. slashing, so I drop down. To that one hurt a bit more. 8 damage. Uh, he kind of laughs at it. <laughs> oh, this is good! <laughs> okay. Uh, and then um, I, kind of, I dance around a little bit more, get into the side, I lean back to the crowd and go, Watch this one. And just swing another fist straight forward. Yeah. <laughs> Head again. Uh, so this is one's going for the groin. For the groin. <laughs> okay. Where I assume the groin mm. is going to be. That uh, that's a se- Oh, is that a D12? Oh, that's a 17 with a D12. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is reckless again, you done, wasn't it? Yeah. So, one, D8. Um, look at that, I'll work. And this time I'll use another dice, but I'll use it as a disarming attack. If you can make another DC 13 save. Strength again. Strength again. That hasn't smashed. Four. Nine. Nine. Nine, nine damage. The sword. the sword drops out your hand as I smash you to the groin. Um, <laughs> and then I will action surge for the second, second punch right, so as I uppercut. On the way through, a sudden blinding pain hits you low down and travels. That's a D12 again. Can <laughs> I get rid of that? He's rolling better than the D20. Fingers loose on your yeah, sword and it drops to the floor. Uh, 90 with nothing. Okay. What, so, was the, what was the first damage? The first damage was. Uh, it was two twos. Four. Uh, it was nine damage. Okay. And then the second one with the uppercut is 12 damage. Okay. So I uppercut you underneath and then. Kind of dance around a little bit more. All right, so yeah. h- hitting the crops, he goes like that, and then an uppercut, <laughs> and then you got. A- <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it. Uh, how are you looking? Because I'm not trying to. I, I look hurt. He looks hurt. He's not going to. As soon as I get, see you getting down to that stage, he's going to kind of play off a little bit. Yeah. No, no. I, I, I look hurt. I've got blood pouring from a couple of wounds. Yeah. Hopefully, not the wounding your crop. <laughs> <laughs> You're up. Yeah. Uh, so I'll again do the whole mocking thing. <laughs> I'll roar again, entering a rage at that point. <laughs> the blows the the cross. <laughs> the dick. Uh, I think just anyone the, would enter a rage. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll take out my other great sword. <laughs> I'll just take out another sword. This one's just a normal looking sword. Um, so dancing round. Coming round this side here. Yep. Yep. Go reckless again. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm going to use the action surge on that one. Uh, so it's going to be a 
bit of radiant damage on this one as well. <laughs> oh, I don't get any. Nothing goes into that. <laughs> That's the radiant damage. Is the yeah. Weapon. How many blows have you struck so far? Uh, one, two, three. three. How many have you struck? This my third. Your third. Take. You have to separate it out for us yeah. as well. Yeah. It's uh, eight points of radiant. Eight. Yeah. So I just go straight through. And it's only twelve slashing. Six. Yep. I was also going to hit. Let's hit four. Uh, so that's another six radiant and yep. thirteen slashing. That's enough to drop me down. Okay. I go down. Look what now. You're down the ground. Yep. The priest comes in. <laughs> Quickly laying his hand in. There seems to be some urgency with the priest coming in. Like he runs in, not not taking the time at He runs in, looking around, his hands down at you. Um, so he's going to put uh, six points back into you. Six points. Looking at the uh, corner of the room. In the corner of the room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> looking for black lines. Yeah. I can't. Ugh. Oh, that's good. good. Nice use of the space. Nice use of the space. Uh, appreciated that. It's good. Maybe work on the. Um... Another. No, 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 no. Come on now. Let everybody else have a go. You can, you can go in the arena later, and uh, that's not for me to decide. But I'm sure they'll find an appropriate opponent. I put my arm around that. Come on, let's have a. Let's go and have a squirrel together. Come on, just calm it down a little bit. You seem to get a little bit worked up a little. I think it was the punch in the dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes. Um, I, I, stuff like that's great though, they'll love it. I, I don't personally approve, but they love that stuff. The crowd will cheer for that. So they usher the two of you at the arena. <laughs> if assuming Nazak will go and I pick your sword up for you, your scimitar, I pick it up for you and I kinda of pand it back to you. Alright, so now Nazak the the, the counsellor. Um, counselor Bear. Counselor Bear. Um, <clears throat> the child. So uh, I put my toy right. back on. <laughs> the, the child will be my arena name. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else wish to uh, try out? I will. You will. Okay. Gore-Tec was you? Yeah. Gore-Tec. All right. Do you just want to do the magic one? I just wanted to do the magic one, but I can I can bonk him with a quarter staff. Oh, okay. Like unless, you... unless you want to try out, because have a three-way. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not good. Really it's a three-way. <laughs> the, the, the priest rushes up to the the crowd and goes over. Um, no, no, a three-way I think would be an excellent idea. <laughs> Guys, come on. <laughs> so you got those jokes are only funny if I make them. <laughs> so it's a three-way with two dragonborn and an orc. <laughs> yeah. Awful. All right. Sorry. What's the other half? <laughs> dragonborn. <laughs> I will have to take off my militia uniform and badge. It would be most inappropriate for me to be wearing my. Uh, gear of the law. I understand. That's, that's fine. You're not working right now, are you? No, I'm off duty. Oh, probably should be wearing it anyway, isn't it? Like impersonating a militia man. Yeah. Not impersonating. We are not on duty, though. I, not for me to argue, I don't. Just don't, don't, don't know. I don't want to walk about Right. Okay. As I climb in, I'll be on all fours and I'll climb in through the middle bit of the fence and I'll stay on all fours as I'm in there. All right. And then you I'll one corner. sort of primal savagery just to get the, the acid starting to drop from my teeth and fangs. Given the lack of endurance I've seen so far from the fighters, um, the lack of ability to last five blows, we will say last man standing will be the victor on this uh, small bout. <clears throat> so, that's you as well. All right. On my mark, gentlemen. Remember, 
Please crowd, entertainment at all times. On my mark, fight. 19 from me for initiative. 18 for me. Five. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was it again, sorry? 19 for me. Uh, 19. Five from Tom. Oh, yeah. yeah. Keyshan. That's 18. Keyshan. All right. Top of the round. So, whilst on all fours, I will pivot up to two, let out a little bit of a roar, and I will breathe over the two of them, because it's a 15 foot cone, and I think that is, uh, <laughs> I might have to move forward one, but is that, do I have to go? You have to move forward. Yeah, I'll move forward one, and then will Ooh. I get them both? You can, you can get one of them. <laughs> which squares there are they in because <laughs> I might re-manoeuvre which, which square would you like to be in this one or this one <laughs> that's far away <laughs> I'm just thinking out how does the cone work so you, I'll, I'll, I'll be in this one this one yeah okay let's uh, check that cone again <laughs> <laughs> wrong square <laughs> Yeah, you get both of them. So, can you both please make a uh, constitution saving throw for me, please? That was a constitution saving throw. Yeah. 13. 17. 4. <laughs> so, if you pass, you take 5 damage. Uh, no, if you pass, sorry, you take half of 5. And then if you don't pass, you take 5. Yeah. Acid so, damage. Down on 4, and <laughs> acid sprays out across the two of you. And then that is <laughs> that is what that. Get you down to. Mm, he said, "Last one standing." And then I'm gonna just sort of slink back near the bushes. <sighs> Wasn't bad. Uh, staying back up, then jumping back down to all fours and sort of <laughs> sneering. All right. So the acid sprays across. <coughs> really hoping it would make uh, Todd look like uh, Bishop when yeah. uh, Kaylee and Dave maximum like, the whole thing. Much. But uh, we're Ed Kashan. Freshly sizzled. <clears throat> that's, just, that's just completely burnt the squirrel juice off my face. <laughs> I'm just cleaning you up, that's all. So I'm going to pick up my quarter staff and it's going to glow naturally okay. because of a bonus action and I'm going to walk up and I'm going to just bonk him on the head yeah that, me? yeah so okay. you oh. move up and hopefully bonk him on the head 20 yeah that, that, that. down to 20 okay give him some damage or give him some damage or don't no definitely give him some damage that's what I want 7 win Seven points now. Seven points. Okay, okay. Okay. Anything else? No, that's that's me. Talk. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to my lethal weapon, cock the crossbow, <laughs> shooting a Gore-Tec. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck! <laughs> With a ten. <laughs> you get the bush. <laughs> it's because I'm all green. I'm the same green as the bush. <laughs> Malamay. So... That's good. That's good. Yes. It packs a punch. Oh, anything that makes the crowd feel like they're part of it. Good. Good. As one of the crowd for right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's always plenty more crowd. Um, is that you done? Done. All right. You're up. All right. So with the dodge of that and also bumped on the quarter staff. I'm going to stand up to full height. Um, again, the creaking being quite loud. And then getting to let out the loudest roar possible. Like, proper, I want to go Jurassic Park roar. Which animal in Jurassic Park? Like the Dilophosaurus? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to try the T-Rex one. but um, And then we're going to... So we're going to... I'm going to expend my two charges, so one's an action and one is a bonus action. So I'm going to transform into an elk, if you haven't. <laughs> no, I don't have that. Because <laughs> I do not. <laughs> and then also, I have a little 
my little wild spirit is going to come conveniently there. It's funny you should mention that because I was literally looking the other day for a giant elk. Were you? Yeah. Did you find one? No. Well, <laughs> I'm going to have an elk on the weekend. <laughs> Put him as down as Sally the horse. <laughs> yeah, we'll um, we'll use. Um, uh, we'll just use a wolf for that. I think that wild exodus. Is it large, isn't it? An elk. Uh, I think it could be. Yeah. I've got it. I did Horse preload. Size. I did preload it. Where's it? Can say you get size? the uh, steel defender on it as well, please? Oh yes. Yeah. Where's it say size? Steel? Elk is a large, large beast. Yeah. Beast. Unaligned. Is a steel. Thirteen hit points. Ooh. AC. I it was <laughs> Ten. But he is. He's just like. Um, yeah. He's a robot dog. Mm. <coughs> It's the tank version, you can make the tank in that the pet has the tank. Can't get the 20 foot. Just, but I think I was never going to get that anyway. I, don't think you can shoot. I wanted the no, extra HP to be shoot, honest. The, the kind of animal, the kind oh, of like yeah, a tank yeah, creature, yeah. doesn't it? You can put it in the way. Broke. Broke. In my, the more wrong. important one, though, mm, is my yeah. little wild spirit well, summon. I'm save it for the so actual fight. When it summons. Yeah, we're on the show. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's a very dire, short-lived action. I was tempted. When people make characters now, they're going to inform me in advance if it's turning into a weird shit. <laughs> yeah, you've got to bring your own weird shit. Or... Yeah. You can't do it. Can that's I have it? A... Yeah, if you can't produce your own minutes, you Dexterity can't. Dexterity save from both of you two, please. For the elk? No, for my spirit coming in. Ten. Oh my god. That is a fail. 18. That That is a pass. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds uh, so disappointing. So you'll take half damage, you'll take full damage. This is 2d6 fire damage. So it's 10 total. I've used regular wolf, I'm afraid. Still defenders. This kind of magic. It's fire damage. It definitely Oh, it's... it's it magic. Are you okay. casting spells? Uh, it, well, it's... It's part of his wild shape and then summon the wild spirit, but it's not an actual spell slot that gets used. If it's not a spell slot, sounds like technicality. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a yeah, class. It's a class. This is how a level two is going to get anywhere <laughs> close to getting rid of a level four. I'm not the level four. <laughs> but you still level one up on me. Is that you done? That's me done. That's my action and my bonus action. All right. Um, oh, sure? Sorry. No, you my, said you were done. <laughs> Need egg timer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it can't do anything when it comes in anyway because it does that boom when it comes in. Alright, Kashan I'm going to say, chill out. I'm going to breathe on you. I like how this has become to a two versus one. Well, that's normally what happens. Everybody chill. <laughs> it does some steam, then it's ice to see you. 2v1? Which is a, a constitution Not saving throw. Nope, nope. Well, we don't make that. That's that just I don't make that. Really? Yeah, definitely don't make that. I mean, the there's a freeze coming. That's uh, that's five damage. You've watched that Batman party off it. Huh? <laughs> Only once. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that was enough. <clears throat> okay. Anything else from Kashan? How many hit points is your Thirteen's on that. Add eight. Okay. Looks like a dog. Rack the crossbow. Oh, yeah. As a crossbow expert, and I need to sure. reload. Well, spend time reloading. Is that going to me? Is that going to me again? Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's a dirty twenty. You, you did spit on him. <laughs> <laughs> I spat on him once, and now it's a two for what? What? You, can, you have just the core game as well. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> crossbowed him. Crossbowed him. Uh, just trying to find my. Uh, Special doodars. Can you make a strength test for me? <laughs> as an L. Yeah, as the They got plus three, but no, I can't because that was an eight. So that's uh, <laughs> an 11. eleven. Okay, so the walloping ammunition We're is going to knock dice. you prone. <laughs> <laughs> Just the elk gets hit by the <laughs> <laughs> elk is hit so hard by his bolt is knocked from his feet down to the ground. And it's five points of damage. That's good. We're still an elk. <laughs> we are still an elk. But you're prone. That's fine. Okay, Tom done. 
I'm going to call axe. Axel to my heel. Okay. Oh, there he is. What are you in there? Yes, please. He's probably on the boat thinking about it still, Fender, isn't he? Um, all right, Togburn. Yep. Go take. God fucking damn it. We're going to stand up. <laughs> okay. Half you stand up. <laughs> I've never seen an elk stand up, so I don't know how. It <laughs> no, I don't know how. I don't know how an elk would so suddenly hungry for venison. It's not graceful, <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you can imagine. Like like a move and a half. <laughs> so can't really charge anyone because the ring is not big enough. I'm gonna. We're just gonna horn. Um, <laughs> I've forgotten your character's name. Sorry. Keisha. I'm gonna horn. Gonna horn uh, Keisha. <laughs> For a 21. That hits. Okay. <laughs> Straight onto your feet. Horns. Into you. Uh, it's 1d6 plus 3. 4. 4. Bludgeoning damage. Okay. Doesn't have multi attack. I think it would say, wouldn't it, on the sheet? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. It does not have multi attack. Okay. So, so gouged by a horn. But my little spirit. Gets to go. Um, so he is just going to. Uh, he can teleport 15 feet, and he will also take any creatures within five feet with him. So he'll take me, and we'll, I'll go that way, and he'll just move there. So does Axel have stats as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all three of those people will need to do a. Dexterity saving throw, please. What are you doing to him? Um, fiery teleport. So the spirit in each wooden creature of your choice, within five feet of it, teleport it up to 15 feet away. And then it basically does 1d6 plus 2 fire damage to anyone it left away with. Uh, not left away, anyone it left in that area. But 14 dexterity saving throw. Axon on a 2, me. No. Eight. For eight fire damage. Oh, that fire <laughs> licks over Kishani, falls to the ground. The yes. priest at the side runs up to the um, side gate. Um, and Malane looks down at him. Um, okay, <laughs> so <laughs> Tom, you're up. Yeah, that's all I can do. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> if you end up finding an elk, if you I will, I will bring an elk. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll have an elk. I'll there will be, there will be an elk. Yes. And also a fire, little small fire spirit. <laughs> yeah, if there is one, could <laughs> you please? You can use like a brimstone pirate. It's a twenty to hit the elk. Twenty to hit the elk. Oh yeah, definitely. To AC ten for the elk. Doing another five points of damage. That t- and damage carries over, doesn't it? Yes. So that's three, and then that's two for that. Yep. A strength saving throw, please, for the walloping ammunition. No. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm out of elk yeah, now. Take that. And, I'm, and I'm on the floor. And then yeah. I'll bonus action command Axel ah. to go and savage you. Ah. He just turns and starts biting you in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Can my little fire guy do anything about that? <laughs> No, he doesn't. Like There's not enough room yeah, for me yeah. to zip about. <laughs> <laughs> Mobility is my key. So it's a plus four to hit. 17 to hit. Oh, yeah. 14. Uh, I'm in a poncho. Advantage. Yeah, so it's an advantage because he's prone. Oh, yeah. Looking for that nat 20. Yeah, was it close? It's <laughs> a 19. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you almost got the nuts. <laughs> only four points of force damage. Okay. Yeah. So, get a stand back up. Yeah. Uh, top of, no, no, it's fine. Top of the round, yeah. Yeah. So you dropped. Oh, Did he, he skipped past. He and oh, no, 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 he's on. Tog at the bottom. Oh yeah, but would he be able to make a death saving throw? Because I got him down before his turn, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, that, that's that's yes. that's why. Yeah, absolutely oh. right. Death saving throw, please. Yes. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. 
19. 19. 19. Oh, that's see, that's great. See, and then that also 20. means at the top of the round, there is a stillness hits the air as the sky looks like it parts for a second and a black line down into the ground. This thin black line has white fingers pierced through it, both sides, and then a featureless. I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> Winged angel drops. <laughs> Wings above the ground, okay. hovering. Turn around, it's uh, the priest is looking up. I will stand up. I will stand up. The bear's going to get pretty concerned at this point <laughs> and start walking his way over to where the person because knows that he's been in enough fights, in enough arenas, you know, this. He's bleeding out now. <laughs> he will point to the white thing and sh- They come for you. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to zip over to the other side. So, dexterity saving throw from you and Axel again. Pretty please. 14. Axel will pass on 14. And Sam. Me, I haven't got 13. Oop, so that is five fire damage to you. Uh, nothing to Axel. There's no half damage on that. It's just the pass or fail thing. Three, two, three, four, three. Yeah, that's just a pass or fail thing. Um, and then I have got my primal savagery up still from the start. So we're just going to have to swipe at you with that. For an 18. Yeah, that's it. Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, you're the right side. Axel can't do anything. Crack on. Did not know about that, but happy. Two acid damage. Mm, okay. Because I nip at you. <clears throat> How you done? Meal done. Tog. That's a death saving throw, I yeah. think. Can you, can you move me around to that death side? Is it okay here? Yeah, I will, I, I've seen them. Death and and as I pull 14, so two passes. Good. It. As that happens, I put my hand on Malone's shoulder, and then that's about six seconds worth of me doing that. Yeah, okay. Am I getting close? Yeah. I'm <laughs> starting to run towards the thing, having encountered them before. I'm okay. going to stay where I'm Let us, um, <laughs> let us just briefly, we're going to have initiative from everybody else who wants to participate in the... Oh, oh my god. Just, hopefully you guys can remember what you got. <laughs> could have done with that before. Yeah, I could have done with that before. Uh, 19, 18, 5. Okay, bet. 22. It was a nat 20 plus 2. Okay, that's 20. Uh, what was your take again? 19. 19. Okay, rabbit. I got 18 with a plus 2, so 22. Okay. Uh, you'd go before me because I've only got a plus 1 on mine. I think you mean you've got 18. Oh, no, 18. Uh, yeah. Debate if I get involved or not. <laughs> we don't have to, but let's get you in the initiative order anyway, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> just in case you want to stab something. That's very fitting. Two. What was Tog? Five. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. So, Bear's gonna put his hand on, that's fair enough. Mm-hmm. Rabbit, was there anything you want to do on seeing this thing? <laughs> uh, uh, shit my pants, I suppose. It's full action. And reaction. And wait, a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I will just ready my ready my bow, I suppose. Okay, just don't so, get your bow out. Yeah. If anything, surely it's a movement. <laughs> 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 so you get your bow out. Yeah. When you're, uh, are you going to do anything? You just get your bow ready. Oh, what, what, what can I do? What Whatever you want, you to, want do. to do. I, mean, I can't shoot what it. Would you do? There are no wrong answers. There's nothing that you can't do. You okay. can always try do whatever you, you want to do. Yeah. Hold an action. Don't, as don't well. worry too much about the rules element. Just tell me what you want to do, and then we'll work out whether it's possible. No, I just don't want to die. I can't promise that. No, I don't want to shoot it. And then it just <laughs> well, you can. You can. You people. can say that you don't want to die. So if it comes for you, you'll shoot it. Okay. And that way, you're protecting yourself. You're holding your yeah. action. Say, so if it comes for me. Then I'm going to shoot it, yeah. but you haven't interacted with anything else around there, so you're just kind of you are doing that by protecting yourself. Okay, I'll, 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 that sounds. Like you can always run away. Yeah, 
brave, oh. brave warriors run away. Yeah. Sometimes. Brave, brave, <laughs> brave, bravest. <laughs> well, rabbits are known for their bravery. Never going away. <laughs> um, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just ready it. If it comes closer and looks menacing, I'll shoot it. Okay, so use it. that's fine. Okay, so if it comes closer to you, or if it comes closer to an ally, yeah, I'll shoot it. If it. Comes All right. Closer. No problem. So that's rabbit done, and then Nazak. Gotta hop over the fence and go start dragging Kishan out of there and away from the white thing. Okay, so you over the fence into the thing. That's four, so 20 feet you've moved there. Yep, I've got 40 foot of movement and I'll use the action to dash. So essentially I'm just gonna pull him over to the fence, which is probably as far as I can get, and then start hooking him up over the this fence. fence or that fence? Uh, far away. I'll be heading that way. Oh, it's okay. it, so, yeah. so there is the edge of it. Yep, yeah, and then essentially just start hooking him to okay. lob him over. That that's the intention of what I'm trying to do. Okay. And is that you? Whatever you want to do. That's all I will do because he's still not sure what these things are. All right. So okay, that's fair enough then. That's great. And then we'll take it as Gore did his action because everybody really wanted to leap in and yeah. do your bit. And then you rolled for a death saving throw, which you've passed. And now we're on to Tog. Tog has more investigation than perception skills, so we'll carry on with the fight. There is a good chance <laughs> you're going to win this fight now, <laughs> because I am out of shit. <laughs> no, it's a seven to hit you. Oh, 14 AC. Bonus action, command Axel to come round and give you a jolly good point. You do everything in the first two rounds. Yeah. <laughs> Why he changed? I, mean, I got, why he changed I got that stuff. Yeah. I'm still <laughs> 18 yeah. to hit you. Oh yeah. Can I roll something other than a two, please? Six. Thank yes. you. Yes. <laughs> I got six yeah, left. Three. Is it more than six? <laughs> yes, it is. That's me down then. It's seven points of force. Oh Lord. god damn it! <laughs> so that's me and death saves. That's you, death saves. Okay, that was on Tog's go. <laughs> Okay, so Tannis was debating if there's anything he wanted to do. Uh, well, I can see that Nazak's trying to get someone out over a fence, aren't you? So I'll go and ass- at least I'll go and assist with that. All right. So you go, and I will say then, in that case, you help and get him over where you were right there. Yeah. So between the two of you, you're trying to, point, over you're trying to get him over a fence, isn't he? So I'll, I'll, That's cool. I'll assist you with that. That's Tannis done. Top of the round, it's the angel. Really, an angel? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Thankfully, my guy. That's an angel, and Percival's innocent. I mean, um, Percival's guilty. I am. I am spooked. Okay, Let's so ask the Stonewall party. Its mm. wings extend without flapping, and it just glides forward. And as it does, all goes quiet around it. Sa- surrounding sounds, the sound of people screaming out, get com- get muted. <sighs> all the way over to there, and it comes down. <laughs> Thrusts its arm yeah. forward, and its hand. Three was a bad idea. What's your AC? Yeah. 13. 13. Its hand buries deep into Kishan's <laughs> body, not, hurt, not hurting him, not splitting him open, but just as if incorporeal, slides into his body. That's him. Do I still get to do my shot? Is it game class? Yes, you do. Go on, man. <laughs> Gets on uh, I miss that. That's alright. So, as it comes, you panic and. <laughs> There's no sound. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right there, aren't you? Um, yeah, you let one off. <laughs> also. <laughs> um, the bolt just flies into the air. Okay, so, top of Rambe. Uh, am I in the silence cone? I don't know how I think it's think that far, is it? 220. 20 feet. Where is Bear? I'm, I'm on oh, the Bear. stage. You're outside the silence cone. So the priest at the side is saying, Stop! Um, I'm going to, my hand's already on his shoulders, I'm going to squeeze my and I'm going to go, Let him heal him. And I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to squeeze even harder. Are you, I thought this was something you guys were doing. No. Let him heal. Get in, then, yes, get in there and heal him. <laughs> okay. Would um, another one have spawned for me? Oh yeah. 
at the top of the road. Um, Not that I want it to, but <laughs> it will shortly. Uh, yeah, all right. so that's all I'm going to do. All right. So get in there. Over grab it. You're so all the quiet where you are. Yeah, you're still in that area. With the um, <coughs> ice dagger and the radius, does that hurt friends as well as foes? Um, it would depend on your position, doesn't it? Is it? So oh, the wording about. of the spell, you create a shard of ice and fling it at one creature within range. Make a ranged spell attack against the target. On a hit, the target may, takes 1d10 piercing damage. Hit or miss, the shard then explodes. The target and each creature within five foot of it must succeed a deck saving throw mm. or take So it's about six it's about where you aim it. Yeah. So wherever you aim that shard mm. will depend on whether you hit others. So I, I can aim it behind the angel, at the floor, and it'd blow up only hitting the angel, right? Yes. And then it'd be taking two D potentially two D six cold damage. I would like to do that. Yeah. Just shoot at the floor far enough away so it only hits the angel. Then. That's good. So you can do that. You bear in mind as well, if you do anything which does damage to somebody who's down, they will automatically fail their same throws. Yeah, I thought they did. <laughs> yeah. So you, except you now, Ooh. importantly, you're going to cast a spell, right? Yes. Are there any verbal requirements in casting a spell? When you click it, it's no, the same thing. I think, it's I think semantic, semantic, semantic and material. material. Okay. So semantic, you only have to move your hands, and material, you use a component, but you don't have to speak. You're in a silence at the moment. So you, oh, so you wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. You have to say something. That's right. Okay. <clears throat> so you can do that and... Oh, and I'm 20. A 20? Uh, Brilliant. It's. Uh, yeah, so that'll hit the ground behind him because he said you. Yeah. You were aiming behind him, weren't you? Yeah, I just. I just want to go. I really hurt the floor, though. <laughs> you <laughs> did. Don't step there, it's slippery. Uh, the white creature needs to make a dex saving throw. Okay, dex saving throw. A... The angel. Yeah, the angel. Angel. Keep my proper name, five. That's probably going to fail. Oh, What's your DC? Oh, I don't know. Uh, so it is dex 12, so that's the saving for his oh, there. Okay, so yeah. 12, so he fails so it. 2d6 cold damage. 2d6 uh, cold damage. A 6 Ooh. and a 5. Nice. That's great. That's more than you would have done if you had bashed me into him. Okay. So there's a blast of ice. <laughs> Um, splatters into the back of him, cutting through his wings as the ice splatters <coughs> up. That's great. Anything else, Rabbit? Uh, I'd like to move further away. It's just <laughs> further away. How much further do you want to move? Uh, just behind someone. <laughs> just, uh, beh- just around there, yeah. Just Side so step, yeah. which still keeps you in silence. All right. Thank you. So that is Rabbit done. Nasak, you're up. Uh, so he's reaching inside. He's going. <laughs> <laughs> it is his, what he does best. <laughs> yeah, I bet you guys. Like, it should be the only the session that we do it. <laughs> After that, it'll all be done. They got it all out of our system. <laughs> you guys are just jealous, alright? I got out. You didn't. Get over it, guys. Um, if only everybody else would have run. Yeah, see? Like a coward. <laughs> like <laughs> you have the options. Uh, I'm going to enter a rage, draw out my sword and swing it in. Swing at the beast. Uh, yeah, can I... Okay. You are right next to it. Can I get round? Uh, there's, oops, Is sorry. that guy friendly towards me? <laughs> Don't upset the beast. <laughs> Is He's that right man there. friendly towards you me? Could, you could go through that triangular gap, couldn't you, through, the, through there? Well, it depends whether that man's friendly towards me. No, I'm trying to get Yeah, he'll eat through. He'll eat through. He's. Yes. Uh, so it's five radiance. I need to remember to add my raging damage because I wasn't having it when I was hitting you either. Uh, so it's plus I don't think you would have needed it. <laughs> uh, 12, 13, 13, 13 slashing. 5, 11, 13 slashing. From the first hit. Okay. Swing again. Oof. That was an advantage then. Uh, 27. Okay. And that's 8 more radiant. Uh, 5, 11, 13 slashing again. Alright. Bones like enraged, moved a little bit, swinging. Done. 
Nothing done. <coughs> What's that sound for a piece? That's cold. Thank you for saying that, because otherwise that would have been. Oh, that's that's okay. nice. That's the same plus ten. Okay. We're good. Gishan. Good Success. That sound for a piece. Go on, go on, go on. Ooh! Two. That's a two. Okay. It was close! <laughs> <laughs> Tog. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's your Tog turn. Tog <laughs> recocks the crossbow, <laughs> turns towards the creature, <laughs> and then remembers what he learnt in basic training. The militia never leave a man behind. Except when they do. <laughs> 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 Kneels down, touches Gortex, for a cure wounds, giving him four points of Why, healing. Thank you. I back. will take the four. All four. Have all of them. <gasps> Every single one of them. <laughs> I got four limbs. That'll do. Axel, come to heal. It's me done. All right, Axel, what's up to you? Tannis. What do you got, Tannis? <laughs> Bear in mind, it's the silent stalker next. <coughs> Kick his ass. I believe. I don't know what it is. I believe in you. You nearly killed me. Everyone's like missed it so far, so you good? We didn't miss it. Oh. I was asleep for that bit. <laughs> you were, D- didn't you're now awake. Pretending to be asleep. <laughs> Has it gone past me yet? <laughs> I'll swing at it. Right. Woo! Yeah, I'm advantage from as a hammer. Yeah, why not? <clears throat> oh, I don't really do better than that. <clears throat> Two 19s there. Is it 24 to hit? 24 hits him. <laughs> For the sum total of 7 points of damage. Seven points of damage. This is regular, regular, regular slashing battle damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or well, they never die. All I'm going to do is just make keep my hand on that guy's shoulder. Right. Um. Uh. <laughs> still wounded from the fight before. I will. Uh. <laughs> bonus action. Second wind to just top myself back up. Okay. But that's that'll be it. That's, that's more than I need. <laughs> it's quite interesting for me because I've never actually encountered one that people have decided to fight. So I can't imagine it's going to go well. Well, yeah, it's okay, well, it's like, as you, players, we know these things are horrible, but as characters, we don't know shit. Some of us don't, anyway. Yeah. Mine definitely does. So that's, why is it that, that's Jamie's sigh of, oh, I'm going to have to kill them all again, <clears throat> aren't I? I'm determined to kill this Right. Time. That's my plan. Might work. The priest runs oh, over oh, to the oh, edge, <laughs> extends his hand down towards where Kashan is, and he will do a healing word for seven points back. I think one would have been perfectly acceptable at this point. Well, we'll, we'll see. How do I heal now? Oh, just a so do these things only come down when someone's on their death? When someone's on their death saving throws. Re- they don't normally, but recently it's it's a new occurrence. So th- no one knows why. Well, before you ask. The last time I can I can, I, can I share knowledge from the last session? Uh, not, at the moment. not right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I meant. I meant. Uh, depending on what happens. If Kishan survives, okay. Kishan can change his body. Okay. Okay. So he's gonna do that. I think this guy is gonna run away. I mean, to be fair, after this and he's meant to be a gladiator. <laughs> this guy's gonna get over the fence as well. We should all get admitted into the arena after this. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. The child prodigy has struck again. <laughs> the child. Oh, the child is struck again. I mean, it's the least threatening news article you've ever heard. Well, it depends. Chucky. It's, I mean, it's different. You yes. read the article and it says spate of child attacks. You know, that's terrible. No, no, child attack. <laughs> <laughs> it's all where that comment is. 
Yes. <laughs> the child attacks again. <laughs> I can hear the announcer now. School is out because the child is here. If you could, if there was a spell, summon other children. <laughs> summon all of the kids. All right. So they've run. The priest has done healing word. It's top of the round. It's silent stalkers go. Black line appears down from the sky, and another one of these things appears over there. I'm out of death saves. I know. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Oh, you never been all the time you've been here. No, I'll show you. Holy cow! Don't trust Archie. He's going to literally now go and shit himself. Can't believe it. All the times you've been here. But... Yeah, weird. All right. Also concerning so, with bowel movement and bladder movements. So it. Reaches to the one that's got its hand inside you, reaches behind, and the black line reappears and gets wider. Um, pulling Kishan's soul from his body, and uh, as it reaches forward and starts to float away, the soul gets pulled from his hand and slams with force back as your eyes open. The priest is at the top there with his hand out, and the angel pulls his hand back, release from it. Head silently moving around, he will lie down on the floor and take it like an angel. Everybody within 30 feet of this silent stalker can make a dexterity, not dexterity, a wisdom saving pro please. Oh, that's a Action as well, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh yeah, my little thing was. No. Wisdom. Dirty turn, sorry. Good pass. Fourteen. Fail. Eighteen for me. Success. Seventeen for Axel. Success. Nineteen Ooh. for me. Success. Eleven for my wildfire. Okay, fail for the wildfire. All right. Um, so if you fail, you're under effect of his painful presence. You have disadvantage on all attack rolls and saving throws for the next minute. So he's going to do that, and then he is going to. Uh, yeah, you close. We're on the left hand side. It's just my triangle, oh, not there, me. There another... I'm safe. Right. Just my little uh, triangles failed. Where are you, John? I'm the gentleman there. Oh yeah. How, how's he going? Is he dead? I'm up. Oh, yeah. So also, there's been some healing over there, there, but there's still two. On me because I failed. There's still what? You need that to make came a with saving throw. It was on. What's that? Uh, other side of the angel. Yeah, wisdom saving throw. Oh, I need a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. 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 Are you in the wisdom. That's my specialist subject. <laughs> <laughs> wisdom saving throw from Nathan as well, please, buddy. Yeah, well done. That's good, you finally you failed. You failed, yeah, so you have now disadvantage on all saving throws and attack, attack rolls for the next minute. Run out of other stuff. <laughs> the concerning thing is that other one came out when yeah, it was only a six. everyone else was fine. Okay, he is. So it's silent in the meantime around. He turns, time. tail lashing out towards Nazak. And then he's going to put a claw attack in one on Tanis and one on Kishan. So, claw on you, claw on you, and a tail on you. Tail first of all. I'm looking for a 13. I'm looking for a 13 with a barb tail. That is a 26. No. <laughs> all right, can you take four points of piercing damage? Yeah, I can take that. And. You take 10 points of poison damage. Not so much. The claw is going to lash out towards Tannis. There's a 20 to hit you. I thought this was a save yeah. thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Here's me with a 90 AC thinking I'll be fine this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> okay. Um, 13 points of slashing damage. Damn. Okay. Oh, shit. I have 12 big people. And one on you as well. 
13 to hit you. 13 hits. It's my AC. Okay. It's gonna be 10 exactly. You're down again. Down again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, two of them go down, lashing towards Nazak. They are done. Let's go. Uh, okay. Okay, so silence and silence. Okay. What? That one popped out as well? Yes. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, so I have disadvantage on saving throws and attack rolls. Yes. Right, okay. Oh. You can remake your saving throw for this at the end of every turn. Oh, okay. at the, uh, the end of his turn, not at the, end of, at the end of your turn. At the end of my turn, okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> Sword into both of you. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> worry, <laughs> just point back. Oh, after last time. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. <laughs> so is Nazak's taking it up a notch. Kill him, then run. <laughs> I've got a deal with someone who will take their souls to go. Nazak is looking at the distant hill thinking this worked before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bonus action rage, run, uh, and bear doing bear special thing, bear cast punch. All right, so you <laughs> cast on your... Uh, you, what level? You rage and you run and then level two. your voice is taken from you as you <laughs> silently run towards this thing. Cast punch on me. Uh, with disadvantage, isn't it? With disadvantage, <clears> please. Uh, it's only an 11. 11 misses. No misses because I can't. Uh, moving attack. Uh, disarming attack. Oh, God. No, uh, that is it. So yeah, bonus action rage got into there, and then I ran to try and punch him. Uh, I didn't take that. Would it have been cancelled out with the advantage? Oh yes, it would have been. From where he is. Do we to 50-50 which it, one it was? It depends on the wound of how. Yes. Yeah, so, so what did you, what did you have? So um, I rolled a seven and a sixteen. So one would have hit, one would have missed. Mm -hmm. Uh, I raised, I got advantage, but you gave me disadvantage, so would it be a flat? So join me to 50 50, which dice it was? Let's roll again. Let's roll again. Roll again. Roll with roll one roll. dice. One dice again, yeah. Natural That's 20. <laughs> <laughs> you brought that on yourself. <laughs> Damn you, Sarkonics! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's my favourite thing. He uh, giveth and taketh away. Yeah, yeah. Um, and. Uh, it was uh, yeah. it was meant to be that. Oh god, yeah. L rules back. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I will. <laughs> the I'll double the dice. Down. I'll use a superiority dice to try and trip you. If you can make a DC thirteen strength, because I know you're after this. So twenty eight. Yeah, you definitely pass that. <laughs> uh, eight, fourteen, nineteen, uh, twenty four points of damage. Oh, that's great. Uh, yeah, I just just go go ham. That's really good, bear. Yeah. <laughs> that and that's bear. There's a moment of doubt, and, and the last that second it just resolved into a perfect <laughs> slam into the side of his face. It makes no sound. You, you just feel this pressure of meat on your hand <laughs> as the silent creature's head <laughs> your fist moves past him. Awesome. Bear done. Bear's done. Rabbit. Ooh. Does it look particularly injured by any chance? Um, there are s uh, sort of slits on his body where he's been uh, attacked by Nazak, and his head doesn't appear to have any damage from where you punched him. Um, but the slits are just like, it's like cutting a piece of pork. There's yeah. no blood coming out of it, it's just a slit across his body. Okay. So I'm just thinking I could run around and stab it, but then it but could, but they yeah. could kill me. Someone's going to shoot it with a bow and hide behind a video. Uh, with a plus two, it's a 19. That's going to hit! Um, I wasn't ready for it to hit. Hey, <laughs> 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 um, uh, go to your attacks. Uh, actions, yep. And then you've you got your short bow, was it? Yes, yeah, so it's oh, yeah. 1d6. 1d6 plus two. Yeah, many saving throws. Oh, yes. Yeah, with sorry. disadvantage. It's five damage um, in total. Saving throws with disadvantage. Yes. Oh, you make it with disadvantage as well, is it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, five in total. Okay, so, cool. What sort of saving throw is it? It was a wisdom, wasn't it? Yeah. Nothing rage doesn't help that. Oh my god! Oh! But he's got that opposite ends. Twenty to one. So you're gonna take the one. Gonna take the one. 
Okay, so you the arrow into the side of him. Is that you done? Uh, yes. Nazak. Very <laughs> brave, <Bruce> Robin. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to redeem himself. <laughs> yeah. I'm staying away, so if Nazak wins, I can follow suit. <laughs> so as long as you're not the first one to do it, yeah. it's fine. So, yeah. Don't worry, Nazak will turn around and watch you die. <laughs> 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 or just slide the sword into your body, sending you to Gar. You can't even send him to Gar with your speech because you're silence. <laughs> I don't. Know, I, how do I don't know how long we can do this before it tips over into being body. <laughs> A little bit longer. <laughs> I'm not offended by it. <laughs> Carry Double, down. Double down, guys. <laughs> uh, he'll carry on swinging at the white thing. All right, you got an uh, advantage. Because I'm on the opposite well, side. Disadvantage and then advantage. Yeah. So, straight. Oh, you failed it as well, did you? Yeah. He's, he's uh, barely standing if anybody's watching what Mazak's doing. It's 19 to hit. He's going to hit. Don't forget your radiant. Mm. <laughs> uh, that's max radiant, which is 9, that's 6, 12, 13 slashing. Second hit. <coughs> Twenty-two. I really wasn't expecting that. Was Five radiants <laughs> and six, twelve, fourteen slashing again. Okay. And then I get to say re-roll my saving throw. You do. At disadvantage. And you know the really good thing? I get to uh, if I fail a saving throw, I get to re-roll it while I'm raging. I need to remember this. That'll be an eleven. That's a fail. So it says if I fail to save the while I'm raging, I can re roll it. I must use the new rolls or do I roll one dot of dice or you roll a new roll? Oh, I can do that because I'm raging as well. <coughs> then I'll call focus re roll. Huh? Oh, that's probably not me. Because I'm a. Uh, ah, it's because he's a fancy. Like I thought this was a fancy one. It? <laughs> it's because no. he's a cowardly. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's because Naz he's built his character in such a way where he's got as many violent abilities as possible to save himself. <laughs> 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 got to look after number one in the world. What can I say? <laughs> All right. Uh, Nazak done. Uh, yeah, because that's at the end of the turn, isn't it? Are you willing? Is what I need to know. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you're not willing? If somebody asks you if you're willing and you have no further information, then I'm going to no. stand up. Are you not willing? The spirit needs to know if you're willing. It's, I'm retiring tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to teleport. He needs to teleport willing creatures. No. Not willing. Okay, well, he's fucking off with me, so we can go. Go 15. You're going to choose to do the damage as well when you. No, no so I can designate. <laughs> <laughs> I can designate the damage. No, well, no, no. <laughs> I can designate that, so that's fine. So we're just going to zip out of there. That's. Is that actually. And then my actually, everyone else is seems to be. the wildfire spirit? Yeah. So the spirit and each winning creature of your choice within 5 foot of it can teleport up to 15 feet. Yeah, he's not willing. Then each creature within five foot of the space that the creature left. Oh well, <laughs> dexterity <laughs> saving throw, then, please. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say I didn't ask if you were willing. <laughs> it's a willing. No, fuck you. <laughs> it's, it's the word. Fourteen. That second bit. Uh, that's a fail. This is the price of rejecting. <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> that's eight fire damage. <laughs> Axel fails as well. Oh, he's not within five. To the wild spirit. No, he's not. Well, Axel's, fine, Axel's fine, but you take Excuse eight me. fire damage. Okay, so that puts me down to zero, but thanks to my orcish blood, I will stand, <laughs> stand oh, back up on one. My, my defense, oh. I, I asked. <laughs> no, no. You're willing. <laughs> in your defense, nothing. Uh, well, that's also in my so defense. At least when he runs away, he doesn't burn the people when he does it. <laughs> <laughs> he burns them later. Well, consent or death. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone else is throwing shit into this thing, so I would be. Uh, it would be silly if not to. Um, what's the What's the second one looking at? What's that one looking at? How can you tell? He's got no eyes or face. For that what's one. he facing towards? What are you seeing now? Just keep punching the other one. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna throw. Uh, <laughs> 
drugs that are. Remember, it's, it's like 40k. It's the silence you thing. don't split fire, you just kill something <laughs> till it's dead. Out of the <laughs> range of the silence. Oh, am I? I oh. You are. Uh, am I? So this is going to be. I need to know if I am. You're out of range of silence. Um, I'm going to toll the dead on. That chappy. Wisdom, right? Yeah, 14. For 23. Never mind then. Um, I think that might be a good thing. What does Tolga do? It says necrotic damage. damage. Heal done! <laughs> okay. Quick heal these for this. Kishan. 12. Okay. <laughs> Tog. Did the priest heal him in the end? Uh, before he knocked him back down again? Yes. Yes, he did. Yeah, okay. He ran over and did healing word. Yeah. Um, he was just outside the area of the silence, but then the creature took a tap, two claws, and a tail. It took him and Tanis down. Oh, yeah, God. Okay, so it's Tog. Uh, did, I see, did I see the priest's um, space he was standing in to cast that spell? Uh, you're looking at the UCs there. That's, that's the guy, the particularly evil looking priest. Okay. <laughs> Like a chaos cultist. <laughs> Do you want that? It's just a normal priest of God. I don't know what any of you are talking about. Obviously it's trained under Hella. It's just how we do it. Now young Skywalker. <laughs> will heal. So it, it wasn't healing word then, it was the other one which he does from a distance. I'll rush up to him. Five, ten, fifty, and try and climb up this for my... Um, yeah, because it's, it's, it's two things. You're going to have to make me an athletics check, please. It's a difficult thing to climb. Yeah, okay. You need a 10. It's not hard, but you still need a 10. 18? Yeah. So you clamber over the fence and get up onto the platform. Um, costing two move? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so 15, 25, 30... <laughs> Turn, he's got to help them because I can't I'll touch myself. <laughs> what? With Which some, one? With some curing wounds. Which one? Who do I heal? The ones that are down. <laughs> For all three points of healing. And then I'll call Axel over to me. In front of you. Uh, five, ten. 15, 20, you need to make a, a jump roll. Uh, he can move 40 feet. So you need to make a roll for him to get up as well. Uh, he can, you he know, can. All right, he can. Athletics for him. Four. <laughs> Poor little <laughs> doggy. He stays there. Straight he just jumped into the bush. <laughs> <laughs> How far did he move? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, he'll rush off towards this direction. Okay. Okay. You're done. Nice. Death saving for success. Okay, good. And then around. Um, so the priest then, uh, looking, and he's going to... Mass healing word at <laughs> level nine? Unfortunately <laughs> not. Uh, He's got his pee plate on. <laughs> oh, no. New priest. New priest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we all have to start somewhere. So, um, it's four points back to Tannis as he does. Okay. Anyway, and then he will... <sighs> leaps down, uh, runs up to you, puts his hand on you. That's him done. <laughs> it's top of the round, it's them. Clearly a priest of image. This one <laughs> disappears. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> but, and a bigger <laughs> one comes down. <laughs> and another black line <laughs> comes down here. Jesus, mother own crap. Gotta get away from that area. Okay. So the one that's in the midst of it all, put his hand down into Kashan. Again, again. <laughs> he just can't get enough. <laughs> what point is this just molesting? <laughs> he always thrust, was. Thrust his hand down and he moves his hand more aggressively now and you can see the ethereal form of Kashan being yanked from his body. Uh, Bear, you're up. 
Uh, bear does what bear does, cast punch, mm. <laughs> uh, and just a flat roll. Uh, 20. Yes. Uh, and. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's try. Let's add the last superiority dice to it for a DC 13 wisdom saving throw. Come on, come on. It's a frightening <laughs> one, it's a menacing attack. How menacing is it? Uh, sorry, spend one super <laughs> dice, add the damage to that part, takes a wisdom saving throw. If he fails a DC 13, it's frightened of you until the end of the next turn. So I take it frightened means he has to move away, doesn't he? Uh, he can't get closer. He can't, can't get, get closer. Get closer and Just and disadvantage attack rolls against you. Yeah. But still. While you're in sight, yeah. can't willingly move closer to you. Yeah. But you're already in his grill. Yeah. So you want to save him for me? That Please, DC 13. If you can fail it, it'd be great. I rolled a 12. Uh, you only needed like a plus one. <laughs> He's gonna make it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you do take uh, 14 points of damage. Oh, yeah. As I kidney punch him to the side. Okay, this is it normal damage? This is just bludgeoning damage. Right. I only have fists. This is bludgeoning this is bear just, damage. This is just bear fists. But you cast fists. I so. cast fist. <laughs> oh, and I get to make a flat. No, it's a disadvantage one. Disadvantage. 14 and a 17, the plus one 15 is my mix. Not minimum. enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only one off. Oh. That green one's doing really well for you, yeah. though. Grab it. <laughs> I'm going to shoot him with another arrow. Okay, never. Uh, 14. 14. 14. Just goes oh. wide over top of him, misses. Yeah, Anything else, Rabbit? Do you want to move? Do you, you want to have any of your spells now? <coughs> yeah, but I'd hit. You could, if you put him like behind him like you did last time, couldn't you? On the next turn. Yeah, we, um, I think someone got a bit too close. So, so 10 foot. Uh, right, it's 10 foot. It, it, it goes boom afterwards. Yeah, it's 5 foot, foot but I, I, was it five foot? I could do it yeah. without catching somebody else. Yeah. yeah. That was all I'm going to do. Okay. okay. Uh, Nasak. Swing it again. That's an at 20. Oh, yes. So that's. Sorry, I need to write these down. <laughs> you made it <laughs> you? so you're at, uh, at the thing there. No, I failed, but I've got someone at opposite. So uh, it's just a flat roll. Just straight roll, yeah. Uh, and I will use my Orcish Fury ability as well. That's nine. Fifteen slashing so far. Uh, I get an extra dice for the brutal critical. Is that right? <coughs> yeah, sure. That's so only like, one more dice. Yeah, sure. That like you get one more. It's one more damage die from your weapon. So, so whatever your weapon again, or just one more extra dice. No, it doesn't that it's when you get you add just one extra die. Okay. That's another three to that, and my orcish fury lets me roll another dice. Keep it going, keep more dives. More barbarians are scarier. So it says I can roll one of the weapon's damage dice an additional time and add it as extra damage to the weapon's yeah, damage so type. Extra. So that's another three. So <clears> there's <throat> plus two on that, it's plus six, and plus three on that one. <laughs> yeah, deal, deal that damage. I'm very going to type it that way. 29 yeah. slashing, oh. 14 radiant. Okay, but slashing is still magical, isn't it? It's he's all a magical large, because it's a plus large two long so great sword. 29. 29 That's slashing, yeah. which is all magical. Yeah. And 12 radiant. Finishing. Oh. Uh, hey. So essentially, I just bring the <laughs> scimitar. I think you'll get level two. The <laughs> off is how I. Yeah. So kind of coming through from the wings, chopping them off, and then it curves through the body. Okay. And then... So you bring it up and bring your sword down on his shoulder, straight through um, the arm that comes through the back, and the wing drops to the ground. He pulls his arm out of Kashan as he looks at you. His face just locked onto you, hand reaching out, Towards your body, and as it thrusts through you, he disappears. The wing is still intact on the ground. Ooh. Okay. 
Right, second. Attack. <laughs> <laughs> Am I stupid enough to go for the other one? Uh, You're in a rage. <laughs> <laughs> On what? The weak? <laughs> On the <laughs> other one. <laughs> Die! You two, uh, the one. other one. Oh, yeah. Damn. Does the magical effect still last on me and, me and him? No, it drops that. No longer in prefect. Um, I'm probably not aware of the second one. The story before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> la 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 la. Can I see that? Oh, and you, just <laughs> in, you had a rope moment and you just come straight back to it. <laughs> As we all know, that to Nazak only had a 90 degree <laughs> Put mirrors on him. <laughs> I can carry on the fight if you guys want to. I'm not. I'm, kinda, I, I'm actually hoping it's going to go away. <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely attacking it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't care. It all boils down to what happens when it comes around to its turn again. I've got another ice dagger I'm shooting at it if it's still there. <laughs> Um, so his instinct was to protect Keyshan, who's still bound, isn't he? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm being touched up by a priest. Do I yeah, sound, <laughs> the sound has all come <laughs> rushing in yeah. on me as well. So I'll move over and hover over Keyshan. Uh, coming back to the early conversation, metaphorically hovering or literally hovering? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not You're picking up the wings and just. <laughs> See, that, that, that'll one. be me. Are you still not looking behind you? Like, oh shit, focused? is it me? Yeah. Uh, I've been looking around, so I would have clocked. Who's unconscious? That creature now. Not really the person you knocked still. unconscious. In <laughs> fairness, <laughs> though, you did wake up since then. This is a fresh bounce of consciousness. It's a fresh bounce of consciousness. Are you moving out of this? What the fuck are you up into? <laughs> What's the radius on this, on this cone? You're out of it. Awesome. I can okay, hear I things. I will. <laughs> Cast healing word, but my dice is let me roll a d4 for me, please. Roll a d4. I will cast there healing word on um, Ooh. on the very unfortunate first victim that I had. <laughs> <laughs> four, six. You get six points of life back, and then I will. Hold, I will hold a primal savage reaction that if he comes over to try molest him, I will attack. All right, Sham. Am I awake? Yes. Can I do things? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's the only I'm gonna touch my. <laughs> Let's make sure I'm I'm whole again. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the priest is cupping you at this time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, leave, we'll, leave, we'll leave his hand where it is. Um, can can I speak? You can stand yep, up. I can, yeah, okay. Your eyes are open. We'll Half your movement to stand up. You can do anything. We'll stand me up. Um, 100% operating capacity. I will <clears throat> use my healing light, is it? Where is this? What have I done? There's a bonus action. Yeah, healing light. I use the 3d6. 3, 7, 8 to heal myself. Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna move as far away from that thing as I can. Uh, 5, 10, 15. Oop. And thank everybody. 15, 20, 25, only 15, sorry. Only 15. 5, 10, 15. Because he stood up, didn't he? Thanking I? everybody who's stood around me. <laughs> Handshaking as you go. Yeah. <laughs> Tog. Tog will 
turn over, turn around to the bow wielding rabbit and say, Come up onto the platform and we'll give them the old first rank, second rank fire. <laughs> <laughs> and command Axel to come up as well. I can turn his spitty to an him. <laughs> Maybe help him up onto the side there. Okay. Uh, hold an action. If anyone uh, makes any attack, or if that thing attacks anyone, I'll try and shoot him. Okay. All right, Tog Gun holding an action. Tannis. I will stand up on the floor. Uh, and I'll use my movement to go and stand next to Nazak. Form the line. Five. It'd be more uh, in between. Shieldless wall! <laughs> a shield. Yeah. It's more of a dragonborn wall yeah, at this yeah. point. So that one shield wall. <laughs> How far can you move? I've got, I've got 30 tells, so I'm going to 15. Yeah, so that's 25 so far. Uh, yeah, and I will hold my action to take a swipe at this creature if it decides to come towards us. Basically, we're all too scared. Wait and see what you do. <laughs> all right, so these yep. guys are going to run for it. <laughs> okay. And that thing into the air. Wings extended. Moving forward straight into you, and it disappears as it feels like. Thank the fuck for that, because I was about to shit my pants. <laughs> We're out combat. We're out combat. Woo. Don't know about any of you, but I'm gonna walk over to Nazag at both sides and give him bro, bro fist pump. Well done. We showed that one. So are we in? Yeah. <laughs> Are you, are you in? <laughs> <laughs> what in the name of the gods happened? What was that thing? Did they come and take you? I thought that this was something you were doing thing, you were changing into elks and disappearing all over the place. I thought this was just a you were summoning things. Did they take you to God? And you'll pick his wing up. Uh. <clears throat> it's ice cold. Does it hurt the hands when I pick it up? No, you know, just feel, you feel it's really cold. Really cold. You shouldn't have done it. Well, I wasn't to know. I didn't know that that would happen. It was an unnecessary risk. It was what? the priest speaking. What do you mean? I've seen them before. They took my friends. heard stories of these things popping up all over the city <coughs> when somebody is close to death they come and they take you people are talking about them being the angels of Gar but I'm not so sure I know Gar thinks the death should that the dead should be shepherd to death but <coughs> never have I seen him so actively try to rip the life from those who could still be saved the man told me <coughs> they're taking them yeah. to where they're meant to right. be, which is with Gar. I am the priest of Gar, but we should tell people I don't think better one. <laughs> we should speak with one for certain. Get communion, communion with Gar. Yeah? Some sort of reasoning for it. <coughs> Things have changed so much up there that. Guard demands souls with such aggression. And this, which was supposed to be. It was supposed to be a bit of fun. Yeah, it was supposed to be a bit of fun. <laughs> what is going to happen in the arena tonight? Yes. I will speak to Bronadun. No matches that are. More than one on ones. Is, th is that enough? Is that enough? There's no guarantee this can't happen anyway. Bromadon's put a lot of money into this. I have as well. As a council member and a duly elected official, I think I should speak to the council on this. I think you should. Well, let's not be too. <coughs> let, let, calm down now. Let's not be too hasty. Uh, if 
somebody dies in the arena by somebody getting a little bit too enthusiastic of the killing, these things might be coming back. Nazak, you said that these things appear when people die. Is that right? When, when they get really hurt, like Kishan and Gortek were, and they aren't healed quickly. I don't think it's a good idea to take that risk with people's lives. Did, did, did you see Ki, Kishan's coming out of his body? Yeah. Sorry, I do that from time to time. Can I try? Chop his head off. Shit! <laughs> 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 We're still in the arena a bit, are we? The ghost no, thing's the, gone. Uh, oh, it's the ghost thing yeah, gone? Yeah, it's gone. It's yeah. only the wing that was left. I'm holding oh, okay. my hand. It's <laughs> 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 a little bit extreme. There. The last time I saw these, they ended up killing an innocent cleric and taking him instead of who they originally came for. I don't think there's anything... Innocent about many clerics. Egan, people Egan of worship. Your heart. I think it's Malone, isn't it? Your name? Melanie. Melanie. Not Melanie. Melanie. <laughs> Melanie. Mel. Mel. Like. Like. Melanie. Mel. Melanie. Mel. <laughs> we need. I think you should speak to Roy and not allow any matches to the death. He needs to come and speak to the council. If it's a match to the death, what difference does this make? The It's a match to the death. If one of these things comes and takes them, if any... He if needs can... to seek permission from the council for this to go ahead. This is too dangerous at this time. Can't guarantee the safety of the spectators. Alright, well I will go and... I'll go to speak to Bronodon, but... There's a lot of money riding on this. Tell him to speak to the council before he has any matches in the arena. Tog. Persuasion. You're a militia, you're a militia member, aren't you? Uh, Indubitably, oh, I am, yeah. yes. Uh, well, actually, you're off duty and you said you retired tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nevertheless, uh, I shall have to make a report. <laughs> I think you should report this to the militia uh, and uh, what was his name? Um, Jeffrey Howell and tell him what you've seen today. Get rid of that. Uh, uh, I don't report to Jeffrey. Intimidation Howell. or persuasion? Intimidation or persuasion? Uh, persuasion, please. Persuasion. That's, That's a 17. Mm. Ooh, okay. mm. I'll speak to Brandon. I will. Um, I'll tell him what I saw today. And I'll tell him that he should speak to the council. Tell him he must speak to the council. Not he should, he must. All right, I will. I will do this. If he's not here and I hear of matches, then I will be coming with the council to speak to him about this. I, I will tell him that. You should. This was foolish. And these people were nearly in what was supposed to be a a friendly knockabout match. Several people were nearly <coughs> fully irrevocably killed. <laughs> Death is <Yeah>. final. <laughs> no, there are things priests can do to those who are recently passed to tether them to this plane. But but this no. What is your name, priest? <laughs> you got all the hands on the keyboard sometimes. <laughs> Larsion. Larsion. Larsion, I would like you to come with me to the council and explain what you saw and what you know. How do you spell? L A R C I O N. And Tog, as a duly elected militia member, would you come as well, please? I'm uh, not elected, I'm afraid I. Foolishly took the job. Well, as a militia member, you, I need you to come as well, if you can, please, to the council. Well, I suppose it makes sense. <coughs> and anyone else? I'll come. 
you hear a whispering in your head as I say, so will I. <coughs> I don't know, I'll, I'll tug along. I'm going to have wine and drink. So that might nearly die in. Malinay, you never replied. Are we in? <laughs> <laughs> Some of us don't have anywhere else to go. Well, I would say everything right up until the point of those things appearing would say that yes, you're capable of fighting, and you, yes, you could go into the arena. And I would make their recommendation to Bronilon, but really, it, it, it now all boils down to what happens when I go and speak to him. But yes, I'll be putting your names forward as able to fight anything. I'll meet you back at the arena. Okay. Nazek, would you come to the council? You seem to have experience with these things. Still stays there, does it? It does. I think it's good a bit of evidence is evidence. Those evidence that is <coughs> the first time I've seen one time. Well, you did give it a good hit with your axe. Sword. Sword. Right. Um, and with that, uh, start hustling away the rest of the fighters. And you find as they're gone, the bunch of you are left just on your own by this rough cut arena. In a graveyard. Can I scrum, Next to the graveyard. Can I scrounge to see if anyone dropped any coins or anything? Because assumably they might have been betting as they were going. Doing Make it in the panic. A perception check. Feck. Thirteen? find any gold kicking around in the grass you find a lump of charcoal it's under a tuft of grass <laughs> <laughs> and it's on the tarragon I'm not hiding the charcoal I've got to pick it up yes. I've got a small sack of things and I just uh, <laughs> stick it in my small sack of things I'm going to try and hustle the people back to go and speak to you, the council. Okay. If, so, if everyone uh, would like to, I mean, go wherever you want to. I'm not going to. Yeah. Bear's not going to order you to do it. He just uh, wants yourself and you, uh, and the priest. Yeah. Last year, last year we'll go to yeah. tell the council. But that being the case, <laughs> with us having still some time left tonight, is there anything else you'd like to do at this stage? Obviously, you won't go to the arena. I get it. Well, I'll, I'll go to the council <laughs> first because okay. I want to hear what's happening, what their verdict is before I go back to the arena. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, so we'll, we'll cover the council in a second. Rabbi, what do you want to do? Is it, they're going to go to the council. Um, oh, I don't know. Um, the child is in. The child is in. Can I? Can I just spend some time outside looking for herbs and stuff? I think I've got herbalism as a trait. Go on, make, you can make a uh, you can make a perception check with advantage. Oh, 18. You roll it again. Go again. You might get you 19 advantage. or a 20. Why do I want to do it again? You've got advantage. Yeah. advantage. You can roll two dice and pick the highest. Oh, the 17. So you take the 18. I'll take the 18. Yeah. And if you have disadvantage, you roll two and pick the lowest. Oh, okay. There might be a chance of rolling a natural 20 with an extra skill. Uh. You find, a, a closer towards where the graves are, on a patch of damp ground up against a piece of stone, uh, you find a, a little small patch of drear mushrooms. Mushrooms? I'll collect them and yeah. put them in my little pouch. So you uh, collect up some drear mushrooms, put those in your pouch, so you can add that to your inventory. Cool. I'll just hang around town when it goes to the council, I suppose. So, uh, talk. I'm going to go to the council. 
Oh wait, I'll, uh, just tag along to the council just so I can listen to yeah, yeah. what's going on. <laughs> I'll, I'll say to the group, I'm going to go find myself a drink. That was eventful. If you need a fighter, you know, to find me, I'll step <coughs> out. <laughs> and on the way back to town, I'll just find the nearest bar and go and... Well, if you need me, I'm in, I will be in the town hall if you need me for anything. That's the big white building, right? That's right, yes. Alright. I'll just go and spend the rest of the afternoon slash evening drinking, probably. Okay, you shan't. I'm, I'm heading to the, to the council. You're going to go to the council as well. As an experienced angel fighter. You <laughs> 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 so <laughs> there's a lot of his death. I mean, the council thing. That's going on my gladiator thing. Slayer <laughs> of angels on the <laughs> intro. <laughs> Nazak. Um, I'll pick up the other wing, but I'll be lagging behind. Alright. So the bulk of you head to the halls in the centre of town with yourself going up to a bar instead of drink. So the rest of you go there and uh, you will make a wait a while as the council is summoned. There are a number of people on the council. Bear just walks his way in. But he walks <laughs> his way in. There's a number of chairs, essentially, it's not a flash affair at all. There's a long table with a number of chairs around it. And uh, Geoffrey Howell comes in. Doraz, Goraz, Andro, Hallmaster Sten, Lawmaster Borrow, all day bear. Are they around the table? Around the table there? Yeah. I'm just gonna walk up. Okay. Hello. <coughs> and we have this and just dump the wing on the table. Sten looks at it. And um what is this? The best person would be Lorenz. Can you explain what this is? We were hosting a practice fight outside the town, and uh, during the fight, one of the fighters was injured and was unconscious for a period of time. And at that point, there was a black line appeared, and this thing forced its way through it from as if slipping through from somewhere else. Silence was all around it as it descended upon the fallen fighter and proceeded, as I saw it anyway, to pull his soul from his body. There have been talk all around town of sightings like this. I've heard people in the street talking about the angels of Gar coming and taking people away, and I think that's what we witnessed today. I don't Deep. think there was anything angelic about it. This isn't the first time, though, is it? I looked at Nazak. You know, you've seen these before. Lord Master Borrow says, uh, You've seen these things before, Nazak. It's very important that you give us all of the information you possibly can so we can make the best decision. They came through in the mind. In the mines. The, the iron mines. You were up at the iron mines, were you? Oh, I see. Um, do we think that's where they might be coming from? Goraz, but him. No, I don't think that's what he's saying at all. Uh, <clears throat> these things predate uh, the iron mines. They come through black slits in the air. Doraz, what do we think might be causing this? It is, is, is it some spellcaster, rogue priests? A, a man said they, they help take the souls where they need to go. It appeared to pull him out of him. If they are truly taking the souls where they need to go, or Master Sten says, is it a bad thing? There's been far too much interference with the natural order of things. Perhaps this is simply Gar 
enforcing his will and ensuring the dead pass on. The man said where they need to go, so that that should be to go. Doraz, I feel that this is interference. We were and always have been a normal people getting on with our lives. And now people everywhere are claiming to hear the God's voices. It used to be a priest went to a temple and they prayed to their God. They were granted their powers and they used them to help people. Now I hear nothing but I speak to my God. I hear the voice of Gar. I hear the voice of Darius. Too much interference. Too many rogue elements in this town breaking down the barrier that protects us. Doraz, you are speaking utter shit, <laughs> as usual. You can't clip the wings of those best suited to protect us. Where would we be in this town? <laughs> Point to the wing. <laughs> <laughs> Where would we be in this town if we did not rely on people like this? And you can't, <laughs> you can't, you can't go on blind faith these are angels of Gar when there are so many rumours on the street of the corruption of the temple of Gar here in town. Oh, I agree completely and I I can't say how much I appreciate. In fact, I'm going to speak for the rest of the council and say how much we all appreciate the effort you put in to stem these things doing any further harm. I, I think they should all be commended and they rewarded in some fashion. I agree. <clears throat> no, I agree as well. I certainly think the town's coffers are filled well enough to offer some sort of reward. Are there any priests of priests, priests, holy men of Gar left? Jeffrey says, uh, group has come back into town recently, which has a priest of Gar with them. He's uh, planning to speak at the temple. Don't we think it's a good idea to ask him? Perhaps. At the moment he stands as our only senior priest of Gar. Uh, Hela has been killed. Sadly, my own brother was involved in that incident. and I believe you're aware of it as well, Mazak. He, um... While our own priest of Gar, supposedly the shepherd of death, he, uh... He was... Well, before my own eyes, he used magics to raise several bodies from the dead, making them into zombies under his control. And no rightful priest of Gar would raise the dead like that. So um, now that this Malmure is back in town, he's obviously the priest of Gar. We need to put things right. I can't keep a straight face with that. <laughs> Wait, so it's not only now the uh, Words of truth. top of the pyramid. <laughs> we should seek guidance from him. Get him to speak to Gar. He looks at Doraz. It's dangerous. And he's with that group. Yes. That group who've done so much good for this town. You're a petty, small-minded man, Doraz. I am looking out for the people of this town, not the self-interests of the all-powerful. Can I insert check that? Doraz. Yeah, but if he's looking out for the town. I got 24. He's angry, insulted, feels outnumbered. He can't tell whether he means in a mix all of that emotion. He's assaulted it himself or if he's mm. just lying. It's one of the two. So it's agreed. Uh, we all think that Doraz is a selfish, small-minded man. I'm so sorry, Doraz. Not what I think, of course. Um, I think that is the general consensus. I know. The arena master's going to come down. I told him not to have any fights in the town that may cause I'm not sure that's a good idea we shouldn't uh, 
interfere with things, just maybe no fights to the death. Some of us need the arena <coughs> to if make somebody money. gets very enthusiastic. I have nowhere to stay. I have nothing to my name. If not for the arena, I am on the streets. We'll then. Second that motion. I also need it for money. Oh, sorry. I didn't realise you were on the council as well. The <laughs> 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 council are nothing. If you just put a message into the child's head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the council are nothing if not servants of the people, are they not? We this are the people. We have to. There are other ways to make money in this town. These people might know best. <laughs> wait, wait, that's that not <laughs> that's <laughs> that's I'm not propositioning you. <laughs> I whispered into the child's <laughs> head. <laughs> and if they agree, seek, then I think then they should. The but again, I think it should be a vote by the yeah. council. I notice there are none of our kind on the council. I speak for all mu- minority and diverse <laughs> ethnic groups for Mistas. You don't speak for the Dragonborn. You don't children. speak for the Dragonborn. Never claimed to. We yes. Can, we can speak about this in a bit, but I think we're getting off the subject of this. What does the council think? At this point, uh, I want to see it. I've never known where this council swings. Bronodon um, <laughs> is ushered in. Said, no, hang on about it. What's the this I hear about me not being able to run a uh, arena fight? That's absolute nonsense. It's what the town needs right now. They need something to keep the spirits up. You know? There's a lot riding on it. A lot of people have got money invested in it. A lot of fighters need this to support their families. Uh, let's not make any rash decisions, okay? Uh, there's working people who, 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 who need to earn their money, all right? Besides, I've got box seats for everybody here. If um, tonight's <laughs> game, if you... <laughs> oh, that's very generous, I must say that. Uh, it's very kind and I, I do appreciate that people do need to make a living, it's very important. <clears throat> well, I... Uh, I think we should all take the word of these people, these heroes, with extreme seriousness. Uh, and we, we should cast a vote on whether arena fights are able to go ahead. Andre's not said a thing through this, has he? He hasn't, he's been writing. He's meant to be the bloody leader. <laughs> Clearly not very good at multitasking. Sten says that this town has seen nothing but <coughs> ill fortune wrapped in many ways. I feel at the moment we don't know whether these things are for good or for ill. More information is really required. If they do represent Gar, one of the six, it's a natural order of things. We can't expect people not to die. There is a difference between dying and taken. I'm going to ask Lorenz. Lorenz? Laurie. <laughs> yes. It's uh, Lorenzo? Lassion. Uh, Lassion. 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 Has anybody that's died of natural causes, has this happened to them? Uh, I have not seen anyone. I've, I've heard tales of people being taken from the deathbed by these things. Okay. All right. Well, look. I think we should stall things for a while. No, no. We'll cast votes as we all do. So, uh, uh, and then we'll just make an informed decision based upon what the council thinks. Uh, that's why we have a council after all. So we'll take votes from 
Andro, Goraz, Doraz, Stan, Jeffrey, Bear, Boro. I'm not missing anyone, am I? Uh, Bora, Andrew, Jeffrey, Sten, Duraz, Graz, me. No, I think that's Jeffrey, all my Dora, list of council Dora, names that I have there. Oh, right. Well, I'm, um, um, do, do, do we want to do this as a, uh, 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 an anonymous ballot? Or, or should we just. Uh... I don't think there needs to be any hidden votes. You're voting on behalf of all the people. The people are here. We would like to know. What I council members are for or against? To save time, we just vote now. Is there a big wooden spoon? I can just start staring. <laughs> <laughs> Taking over from Gunther's job. <laughs> Picked green for a reason. <laughs> okay. If you put it there, Andro. Are you for or against the arena staying open? Well, I, 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 informed is best, so I would say no. The arena should stay closed until we sort this whole mess out. I stay. Say we are assuming too much. We should not take any action until we know more. The arena should stay open. People's livelihoods depend on it. I think law and order is the most important thing. You mean you should say closed? Does it cause other panic in the street? Bear. Oh, we're gonna go. I thought you were going to leave me to last as a swing <laughs> vote there. <laughs> I, I think it's too dangerous after seeing these things. I don't think we should take the chance and the arena should stay closed until we have the Priest of Gar to speak to and look at this wing. Doraz, kind of. No, I agree. What a surprise. <laughs> we should keep it closed. Let the normal people live their normal lives without this interference. Until we know more. Well, I feel that um, <sighs> brought on is an excellent point. People do need this for their livelihood and box seats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for the arena staying open and those. Poor gladiators being able to keep their fights in all of my years at Albertia. Uh, we've never had to shut down an arena fight. I'm for the arena staying open. Well, um, I want to do what's right for the people, of course. That's my priority and the only reason I accepted my role on this council. And uh, I know the people are looking to me, so I'm going to vote for keeping the arena open. That's everyone. That's four to three to four stay to open, isn't it? I think, isn't it? Yep. Uh, no, four, four, to three. 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 four to three. Four to three to close. close. Four three to close, is it? Yeah. yeah. After the last vote, I'll have obviously. Well, thank you for voting in public, I'll be sure to let the people know who closed their entertainment. Well, And who and which council members were for keeping the spirits up. Oh, well, there's no need to go upsetting the people. You must do what you feel is right, of course. I shall. All right. For once, we're going to finish on time. At ten thirty. <laughs> there we go. That's, so that's tonight. You've voted with the council to close down the arena <coughs> for the time being until this incident is resolved. Until we're going to speak to Malamir, mm. as the priest of Gar. I think that can be done offline. That was, that was He's actually going to go and make a speech in the next uh, mm -hmm. Dragon Hunt session. So <laughs> let's see what he says. 
What was the name of the arena guy? The Bron 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 Bronodon. 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 How do you spell his name? B R O N A D O N. So you had Bronodon. You had uh, Larsion was the priest he spoke to. Bronodon. I got got Larsion, and then um, Melanie. <laughs> Melanie for uh, <laughs> the, uh, yeah. he was doing the trial. Larsion as well. Larsion was a priest of God. It was mentioned, but you didn't encounter. Um, all right, that wraps up for tonight. Everybody's going to get six hundred and twenty-five experience points. Very nice. How many? Six hundred and twenty. Six two five.